going on people welcome back to the channel welcome back to say tv we have got late vibes or is it vibes you know what i'm saying it's not vibes we should call this show bad vibes bad energy stay far away stay far away there's a lot for you guys no, for you guys come on man listen it is bad bad energy people man so people we need your likes we need the likes we need everyone to to give us some positivity if you can, man. But we're here. I was meant to discuss tactics. I was meant to discuss it in shape. I wanted Michael to teach me about, you know, the way we're pressing and whatnot and talk to me like that. But, bro, we have to talk about injuries. But make sure you don't like the video. Man, then, what are we saying, man? What are we saying? How's everyone feeling, man? Tell me, good to see you back. What are you saying? Yeah. Everyone good, yeah? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Good to see the fellas, man. Good to see the fellas. It's been a minute. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely, man. It's one of them, man. You get me? And how are you feeling, man? I feel all good over there in your neck of the woods? Yeah, everything's good, bro. Good to, good to be back on, man. Hope you're well. Yeah, man. Good, good, good. Obviously, we've got the New York boys, or what to say, New Jersey and New York, you know what I'm saying to you? What are you telling me, guys, man? I feel all good? It's good as it can well, be, for you, man, United. Not the best of times. It's a rainy day today, Griggs, so it's not a good day for us. Bro, it's raining all day, day. Every, every day of this week. April showers. Oh, let me is tell you it's New York and Manchester. I think it's got it's similar same, weather. Bro. I'm telling you now, man. New York and Manchester is the same weather because we were raining all day. So I did rain yeah. all morning. I went to work, it was raining. I left work, it was raining. And I drive an hour. I felt like I was risking my life for a whole hour. I'm waiting for some car to swerve into me because everyone drives like an idiot in New Jersey. Bro, and then I hear the leech man, news. Man. It's just not a good day, bro. It's just not a good day. Uh, it's not a good day, man. Let's get into a big up knowledge, man. Listen, we have to talk about this fraud, Ten Hag, because he's killing our team, man. Um, and I'm being deadly serious, man. But we have got some injury news today. That is Lissandro Martinez, who just come back from injury, by the way. And Lindelof will be out of action for at least a month. Muscle injuries for Argentinian and Swedish defenders who hope to return by before the end of the season. Um, bro, what do I say, man? F listen, Lindelof, we kind of knew in it. He had a hamstring injury. I don't think anyone's surprised by that one. You get me? Like, that happened during the game. I'm not really going to blame that too much on 
on the manager. But then again, <laughs> we have to understand that, bro. Hamstring injuries, you know, is that because of the, the way we're playing and that? You know, we can deep dive into that one. But the Lissandra Martinez one, I'm sorry. You know what's bad as all, by the way, guys? I did a video today. I did a video today telling people to back off Martinez. And lo and behold, <laughs> some of the comments were saying that he's a liability and he's not ready and he's never available. And that is his biggest weakness. But this muscle injury is another one, man. Griggs, chat to me, man. It's mad, bro. This this guy yeah. is always injured. But ultimately, I mean, what's happening with our squad, man? What's going on? To be fair to Leach, it's not like he, he didn't come to the club being injury prone. He had like 13 injuries. He had like he missed 13 games in like four years, I think, before, yeah. like during his time at Ajax. So it's not like he was injury prone. Obviously, the injury he got last year was no one's fault. It was a non contact injury. It happens, obviously, yeah. sports. But it's the what's happened after that injury that's led to all of this. You kind of played him a lot in preseason. You didn't give him like just a regular preseason. He, I think he started like every single game in preseason, played about, I say, 60 minutes each game in preseason. For me, that's a lot. Then you, he was clearly injured to start the season. He was taking injections. So by the time a player is taking injections, that means that they're not 100% fit. And it's and that was in October, in August, September. That's the early part of the season. That's the part of the season where you play the long game. You rest him a little bit more. You let him kind of just get ease into the stuff of the season. You risked him. He ended up getting injured. He missed, I think, was it three, four months. He comes back, plays like four 90s in a row, gets injured again. Uh, that was that wasn't the medical staff's photo because Kufal literally fell right on his knee. So I'm not gonna blame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alfred. That's just like an unfortunate injury, but maybe him playing four 90s in a row kind of led to the muscle and stuff like that being weak. I'm not a doctor, so I don't really know all about that. But once again, you this then now you rush him back. He wasn't meant to play on Saturday. He did not train all week. You had a kid in Kwambala on the bench. Just bring him on. It's a one-on-one game. It's a high-intensity game. It's a game that you basically have. You've been running around. You've been running racket the whole game. So you're bringing on Licha in a physical battle when he's gonna have to go up against an Ivan Tony, who's one of the more physical strikers in the league. Just bring on the 18-year-old kid, who's also physical in his own right. To be fair to Kwambala, he's athletic and stuff like that, so he can handle that intensity yeah. for about 20 minutes and just let Licha rest. Because don't forget, it's not like we're just playing once a game a week. We have a game tomorrow, uh, two days from now, and then we have another game on Sunday. So what are we going to do? You're going to play Leecho when he's not fit on, on Sunday. And then you, Lindelof right. got injured and Varane got injured in that game. So that means Leecho would have had to start Thursday and then probably Sunday again. So coming off another leg injury, you're, you're going to play him probably sense. three times the same yeah, way. Yeah. That for me is coaching negligence, and that's malpractice. And that should be part of a contract when, when you're a coach. Like, players should be allowed to go up to coach and be like, what, what's going on here? Obviously, Leach is not going to say, I'm not going to come on. He's a warrior. He's, just, he's Argentinian. Those guys will yeah, play yeah, through course, anything. Yeah, course, course, course. So... As a coach, you should know you should know your players' welfare and and protect them from themselves. That's what coaches are there for to protect players from themselves. And Tarek Tanak should have done a better job on that. And whoever the hell this Arsenal doctor is, I don't know where they got. We sent him back to North London. Uh, send him back oh to North London. Oh my god! But yeah, that's about it. I'll leave the Lindelof chat for him. Tell me, that's his boy. So I'll leave him for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the Arsenal one there, man. They they warned us, man. You know, they warned us that this guy ain't great. You know what I'm trying to say? Big up Omar in the building. Oh, Great well, well, man. well. Yo, what are you saying? It's, it's the man them talks, bro. Oh. What are you telling me, man? Yeah, man, we're here, we're here, man. We're here, man. We we're got, outside, we got, man. We got, we, got Safi, we got Griggs, we got Tammy. What a surprise. Come on. Shout oh, out this America Canada. Talks. No one told me that. Yeah, America Talks. Yeah. <laughs> now we got Australian here. We got Australian here, so it's not America Talks, man. You know oh, what I'm saying? So, big up old man. Shout out to Wallabies. Shout out to Wallabies. Bro. Come on, come on. Big, <laughs> up people, big up to old man. But you know what it is, yeah? My thing is, guys, yeah? It's the situation, right? It's true, you know. Griggs is right, you know. Us fans, yeah? We, we're emotional, innit? We, 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 we can say, yo, bring on Leecher on. But as a manager, you need to be, like, thinking to yourself, hold on a minute. What's going on here? Do I bring him back? But the problem is, though, guys, it's not even happened from this game. It's happened in training, you know? This injury, if I find out now, the Martinez in, uh, situation has happened as a result of training. So you got the injury straight after training. I mean, what are we doing in training? You know what I mean? What are these men going through? You know? It's a calf strain. You know? It's a calf strain. Let me bring it up to you right now. You know? Let me just show you right now. New injuries, a calf strain suffered in training. May United confirms. And this guy's made of glass. 
Or, like I said to you, something is happening in training where it's happened time and time again. These muscle injuries, whatever you want to call them, right? It's not good enough, man. And the way we play as well, the football we're playing right now, everything adds up. It's no coincidence. People shouldn't be naive. I see people saying, how can you blame it on the manager? Of course you can. There's a direct correlation. That's the same the injury that play. Mason Mount was out for with uh, side. There you go, got, then. It was his second injury. There you go, and, then, man. And, and Griggs, I don't know. You, I know you just told us that he had, what, he missed 13 games throughout the four years he was at IXN. Now, yeah. obviously, I didn't look at that. I don't know how many of them are calf strains because when Mason Mount got injured, I was just curious to look. I was like, let me see how many times did Mason Mount pick up a calf strain. And it was his first time. That wasn't an injury that was reoccurring for him. So, yeah, but the, the, and the thing, have a point. It's a lot of muscular injuries. Go ahead, Ange. The, the thing with calf strains is it's usually because you're compensating for something else that's gone wrong in your body. So generally when players come back from an injury where they've hurt one side of their body, their other body starts to compensate. You put more stress on your calf. And that's why players pick up. The, that's what Mount, Mount had a string of injuries when he was at Chelsea and when he started United and then he started compensating for things in his body and that's why you've got to be really careful when you're going to have the top doctors and scientists there. I want to know why he was allowed to travel back to Argentina while he's injured. Like he's injured. Why are we saying we know long haul, long haul flights cause more injuries? I had an argument with Rance here, big up Rance here, and I said the warm weather training might be better for him. But you know what? Maybe I was naive. But then again, is that why are the club letting him go then? You know what I mean? Like there should have been more rehabilitation. That, that, We're that's paying not, his wage. We're paying his wage. Yeah. Is it a, is it a club's fault though, bro? And that's what I'm trying I, to say. That's what I'm trying to say. What do you mean? I can't see the. I can't see him. I just. I'm. I just think he's malnurtured. To be honest with you, it's just how you come back from injury, go back to injury. That, that now you're a malnurtured player, bro. That's that's on you for to not yeah. taking care of yourself. We've seen. Yeah, a yeah, lot that's of fair. Food. We've seen a lot of players at this club this season that have been playing several games back to back, back to back with extreme intensity, and they're still showing up to play. Look at Bruno Fernandez is a perfect example. That man don't get hurt, bro. He's an anomaly. 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 He's got yeah. no muscle on his body. He doesn't get injured. He's not a, a, a power athlete, an explosive honest, athlete. The first, the first injury that Melisandro took, that was obviously, uh, it was a game injury. So that's not something that happened. It, it, you can't just pick up during yeah. training. Uh, but well, let's, yeah. the second one is just like, I guess it's freaking nature, bro. That's just the, that's what just comes with the territory of the sport. Look at Melisandro. My guy's been out for a whole damn decade at this point. Nah, but this is not freaking nature. This has been happening time. How many injuries have we I, got this I, season? I, this is not coincidence, brothers. No, Sorry, I, 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 I agree. Let's take, I think there's, I think we got to take, so I do agree there is an element of the way we train and our medical staff being, there, yeah. there, there's culpability. I'm not arguing that, but like, let's use just Lissandro and go back a little, go back a little bit. Let's go back like a year, a year and a half, right? Last season, right? We have a World Cup, right? We have a new manager who's trying to make a name for himself and he's playing all these players pretty much week in, week out. Lissandro plays in the World Cup. He plays every every single game, right, for his country. He wins the World Cup. You know, they they celebrate, you know, I don't know what, what was going on. We all know what happens when you win a World Cup. You know, he came back lit. He came back lit. A little bit, you get a I little happy, wait. right? He came back overweight, right? And then the non-contact injury happened. And I don't know if y'all remember when that happened. I was terrified because, like, things like that happen in basketball, right? I've seen yeah. Achilles go. I thought it was an Achilles, man. Yeah, like I see these things happen all the time. And when an injury like that happens, uh -huh. it's very rare that players be, are ever 100% again. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. How often do you see a non-contact lower leg injury like that uh -huh. and a player comes back 100% the same? Like, Griggs, you watched... That's the same. It was a watched, fifth... It was if he did the fifth met metatarsal. It was the same injury that remember Rooney did it before, just before the World Cup when um, Sven Goran Eriksson was a yeah, 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 yeah. like the, those injuries are sometimes career ending. Back in the day, the technology is advanced, the science is better now. You can come back, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's not it's not easy. If you look at it right, okay, so he has a non-contact injury. Preseason happens. He's overweight. It's obvious. It's very very obvious. He's overweight. The first few games he plays, he does he's not playing well. He's slow. 
He's, he's not. He's just, he's just not himself. I don't think it was overweight though. He he, he muscled overweight. up too much. He muscled he, up too much. Are you, are you calling him muscle? I, I, I you like Luke Shaw. I think, I think like Luke Shaw or Martinez. It, 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 to me, I, I guess you could say Adam. Well, Greg, Greg, come to the light, Greg. Greg, come to the light. How are you gonna muscle yeah. up in six weeks? You're not muscling think, up in six weeks, bro. Like he think, broke. He looked like he bulked up. He looked like he bulked up. Yeah, he did. He did. Okay, how about this? He didn't he didn't look look like, it could be either one. I don't you know. know. We, can go back and, we can go back and That's forth. That's crazy. If it's muscle, if it's fat, whatever the case may be, he's bigger than he at his than his yeah. playing weight. He's bigger than his playing weight. He gets hurt. He gets rushed back. He gets hurt again. Oh, what was it? Was that the Kufal injury, right? The Kufal injury, and then we yeah, had yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just a string of things that happened, like mismanagement. This, mm-hmm. this is mismanagement, and it's bad luck, and it's a bit on him. Uh, uh, all of these things are mixed up into this individual mm-hmm. situation. No, that's it's, Eric, it's Eric Bailly. Look, think about Eric Bailly. Remember when the Eric Bailly's first season? How good he was. Like, do you remember that? Like, bro, was, it does remind you of him, though, because he, he was so good. Bro, yeah, he was good. He was so good, and then the injury, just this injury. This injury, this and it, and he never ever was. He was never the same. He was never the same mm-hmm. player. And I, honestly, the way it's looking, I don't think we're ever gonna get that first season, Lissandro Martinez. I, I I'd be stunned after the non-contact mm-hmm. injury. The, I think that's tough, man. I think that's tough, bro. Think no, think. Listen to me, bro. He's had four, one non-contact injury and three serious injuries since then. Who who recovered? Mm-hmm. Like, when does a player ever reach their peak after a non-contact injury like that? Now you can recover. No, yeah. you can, man. The science is the, like so. In no, the thing is, in, a, in Australian Australian football, yeah, there's injuries a lot, and, and even you, uh, if you guys watch the NFL, players come back to their full shape, like they do ACLs. They do. They come back to their full fitness if they get the recovery right, and he's still young. If he was like entering the 30s, if he was on the wrong side of 30. I, I would agree with that. But I think he could – and I'm not ready to go there and say he's an injury-prone player. I think what's happened, he's had one serious injuries, and it's affected the rest of his body. They just need to get it right, man. Once, like, because you start compensating for things. Once like, you, you just need time. That's what they did with Mount. They held Mount back for a long time, just essentially to reconstruct his whole body. Like, because he was having so many injuries at Chelsea, so many injuries to start at United. They just held him back. He had a calf injury. The thing is, calf injuries – and they held him back for essentially like three, four months, maybe longer. They yeah. held him back for a long time because his body was just given away. It was it was imbalanced. That's I think that's what was happening, and that's what's happening. My, I'm not really. I don't think he's not an Eric Bay. Not yet, man. I, I think even the MCL he did. So the the game where he did his knee, that MCL, that, that's bad luck. That's bad luck. And then the rest, like they just need to manage it better. I don't think he's injury prone yet. Like I'm not ready to go there, man. It's been four. Mm. It's been four pretty, four pretty serious ones in one year. Yeah. In one year, they're all, take, right? Right? Bro, take, and they're all, they're they're all in the hand. same vicinity. It's not like he broke his hand one time. You know, he pulled his hamstring. The next one, he has an abdominal whatever. It's this. It's in the same. It's in his leg. Like he's a footballer. It's in the same. Care, but we're talking about injury. Care, Can we stick to the point though? Injury. If you've got a guy who's injury prone here, are you going to put him in the same training regime as players maybe recovering or coming back to injury? He has to He has to understand who right now is recovering and who right now needs to go to that brutal training regime. Because you see his interview. He said an interview on being sport. Did you guys watch it? He goes, this is what the Premier League's all about. It's tough, you know, regime, and you have to be physical. And I'm like, broski, you re- need to relax, bro. Because your team- Is that on Ten Hag, Saeed? Is that on Ten Hag or is that on the medical team to say, hey, this is the intensity that he can train? It's on the medical team to understand his body. Like, Ten Hag's not a, a medical professional. I know, it's on I the medical team. Who sets the training? Who sets the training then? The medical team doesn't No, who sets the training? Who should set the parameters? Who should set the parameters at the intensity you should train at? That should be the medical team. The medical team saying, hey, you need to hold this guy play, this guy back because... Take your hate for the manager out of this for one second. Yes, I eat. Honestly, honestly, bro, he is. Honestly, I know. No, 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 no. Is no, I, by the way, this is Ten Hag. Ten Hag. Yes. By the way, Ten Hag does not lead training. Van der Gag is the one that leads training. So if we're going to be for training methods, oh, that's your Think about this. No, no, no. It's true. Hey, hey, there's a, there's an interview with him actually talking about it. There's an listen, interview with him talking about it. Listen. listen like, yeah, but it shouldn't be Van der Gag. It should be the medical professional who understands the human body. Yes. I, I'm Look, not gonna managers, lie. managers, managers listen. Managers listen to what a medical staff tells them about a player's health. It's just the like this is not rocket science. Like let's not let's not obviously we can talk about tactics, all those different things. I I'll agree with you there, but this is like. 
think about it logically, side. Like, take your bias. Hey, out I'm, first. I'm thinking about it logically. It take your head out. Head out. Your head head out. Brain, There's yo. so much. <laughs> Bro, you know what? You know what? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll think about it logically. I'll think about it logically. How many times has it happened this season? Hoyland, Mason Mount, Lissandra Martinez. How many times? How many players can you say, yeah, after injury, after a rare situation, they're out injured? And then we find out last, it's muscular or it's this or it's that. Right, right, last season, how Come many on, times? man, guys. Wait, oh, yeah, but, but Said, say, can I respond to that? Said? But I agree with you. So because it's happened, you, the conclusion you're making here is because it's happened numerous times, it must be 10 hours well. I'm saying because it's happened yes. numerous times, there's a disconnect between the training and the medical staff. They're the ones that should say, this, this is what they do. They measure how many kilometers you've done that week. So they'll go, this person yeah. had, they'll measure your loads. They look at your loads, the intensity, all those things. And then they'll- Yeah, I agree. So is they'll go, big hey, big this, player, this player's loads and intensity should be at this much this week. Because we're noticing this in his body. He's got a gait here. He's got an issue here. Th that communicate. If it's not happening, then it's an issue with the structure. It's not an issue with Ten Hag. T they need to tell Ten Hag what to do. That's why they say the sports scientists get in the way. The sports scientists, they always say the sports scientists get to get in the way. So, sorry, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying to you is there's a direct correlation, A, by the way, between the way we play as well. What are you talking about? Play style That's as true. well? That's true. Play no, that, that I agree with. Separate. separate. Let's talk about the medical staff. Saeed, is it? It's separate. That's not for the manager. Wait, 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 wait. is it Eddie Howe's fault that Newcastle are going through an injury crisis right now? Yes, there's a lot. Because yeah, yeah. I, I speak to a lot of Newcastle fans, and they say the same thing. They say he's training methods. Yes. They say it as well. Pochettino as well, saying Chelsea fans blame it on him as well because of the way he's his training methods. Can I, can I, I add to that, Saeed? Can I, can I, can I, can one, I, can one, I... Second, one second, one second. Big up Adiwale. He says, we've got to start keeping the same energy for all players. Lissandro is looking injury prone. We need to get rid of Shaw and Malasia. Both are broken. Eric Tillard is a manager. He does have some responsibility. That's part of his job. The, 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 the thing here, I think, you know what? I am starting to look at Lissandro Martins a little bit differently than I was today when I did the video. You know, I am because I'm I'm, right. I'm 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 just pissed off. That is him. You know what I mean? But my thing is, guys, yeah, all I'm saying to you, yeah, the way we play football, the way they train this, I'm telling you now, it's probably 75% on Ten Hag, all these injuries. 75%. I'll give you the percentage on these play on the on the medical department and maybe themselves, rehabilitation, but a lot of it. Look at the way um Martial, look at Martial's injuries. The, this season as well under under the manager nah, as well. Been, right, Marcel, years, right. Marcel, no, I'm just saying though. Right, he hasn't Marcel made it better though, has he? Forever. What are you talking about? Just, no, just, you, have to, the, you have to manage him as well though. He hasn't managed him. Just, just to add to your point, sorry. Just to, just add to your point. Off? So if you look at the who are the two best position teams in the Premier League, it's Arsenal and City, yeah? Arsenal and City are the two position. They have the less, the, the least amount of injuries in the Premier League. City, City are so good with injuries. They play so many games. They they, they, they get so keeping the ball, not playing yo yo ping pong football. I, I I agree with that point for sure. That causes a lot of our injuries, man. Listen, all I'm saying to you guys, yeah, I'm big up to um, Javid. He says, "Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam, bro." As a Liverpool fan, we're hit by numerous injuries in the two of the the last three seasons, and many fans blame Klopp training methods. Adiwale says, why I also put blame on Eric Ten Hag is that last season when players got injured, he made them train two, three weeks on grass before playing them. This season has been putting guys back into squad much sooner. Let me get Staffy. Staffy hasn't spoken. Let Staffy, and then we get Omar and MC, whoever wants to go in for it. Staffy, chat to us, man. What's going on? I know you've been chilling and analyzing what are you saying are you pissed off i'm not really analyzing anything bro it's, it's really simpler than you guys are thinking bro just bend this guy in the summer and move on bro we already had to do a lot of oh, accommodation whoa, 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 for this whoa, whoa, whoa. guy chill 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 who you want to be it's it's just that, simple bro we, we bro. listen we have, have something to talk about today Staffy. listen no no nah, nah, i know that's why i stay quiet wait, wait, that's who? why i stay quiet and how are leecho Bin Tan Hag and he'll take Lissandro with them, bro. He was a he, wow. he was a Tan Hag signing, anyways. Like, hold on, let, let me tell you something. I'll tell you something. You saw all of these guys injured forever, and then Lissandro after four injuries, go. Hear me out, man. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm okay, I hear you out. And I'll explain why. Tan Hag, listen. Is there a world where we would have signed Lissandro if we didn't have Ten Hag? Probably not. No. Probably not. I don't think we would have signed. Okay. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. So he That's was. Fair. If you ever say which which signing is a ten hack signing, it's actually Leecher. Okay, I like Leecher. Don't get me wrong. I like, 
But I don't even want Ten Hag. And I used to think, what happens with Onana and Lissandro, those two especially, if we don't have Ten Hag? Because I don't trust if we get another manager, how are they going to play, okay? So I was like, you know what? I thought about it a lot. I was like, if we get another manager, we're going to have to be very careful with what style of play they play because they have to really be accommodating to the likes of Lissandro and Onana because we signed two that are mainly dominant on the ball and they lack so many things in their game. And we're like, you know what? It's fine because we're doing it for the bigger picture. The bigger picture was the way Ten Hag plays. Not only are we trying to get rid of Ten Hag, the guy's just injury prone, bro. Listen, he wasn't injury prone, but now he is injury prone. Last year, picked up the the the, the foot injury that mm. happened again this season. Obviously, he was un, unfortunate with the, the Sufa one when he fell on his knee. Mm. Now I'm hearing calf strains. Listen, the guy already lacks so many things in his game that we're trying to accommodate for. He's a five seven. Well, seven he wasn't center. saying I, this. He wasn't saying on. this, man. I, 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 I wasn't. No, hear me like, out. I didn't well, finish. Well, Allah, he was I saying didn't, I didn't finish. I didn't. I well, never said that. Let him, let him, let him, I didn't. Let him. I never said that. I I agree with you. I was willing to accept the deficiencies just because I saw a bigger picture under Ten Hag where he's going to be the system. We used to say that a lot, Griggs. He's the system. The system is broken mm. down, bro. The system is going to be injury prone for the rest of his time here. Let's just be honest. The guy's not even athletic build like that. So every time he comes back, he actually looks worse. Let's be honest. I didn't even want him to come back. And you remember, Griggs, I told you that. When he got injured, I said, bro, shut him out for the season. I'm the only one who saw that we're not playing for anything this season. This manager keeps bringing him back, thinking we have something to fight for. He brings him back. And Griggs, you said Kambuala. What did I say on my show yesterday, Griggs, when you were on? What did I say? I said what? Bring on who? Kambuala. So I said that mm. before the injury. I said I was so surprised he brought on Lissandro. A game where it's so physical and the guy hasn't played in a while and we're getting absolutely peppered by a physical team like that. We have Kambala who's played a few games. Now, is Kambala better than him? No. But he's played a few games. He's a physical player. You bring him on just to, the, to box defend. Why would you bring on Lissandro for box defending? So he comes on for what? 20 minutes and now he's injured. Listen, bro. I love the kid. I love the player. He's, he's, he's a, he, I think he's a very good player on the ball. I really liked him when we signed him. But I just don't see a future where we keep him and he's going to stay healthy, especially under a new manager where he's going to be the system anymore. He's really not, bro. I'm not trying to accommodate for him when the guy who really wanted him and you knew how to use him is not there anymore, bro. He's just not, bro. Let's be very honest, bro. You look at all the center backs out there. You know what it is? I'm going to give you a girl's analogy, bro. And I really thought about this. I was like, you know what, bro? It, it reminded me of this, this, this one girl said that I went out with one time. I don't, you know what? She wasn't a 10. She wasn't a 9. She was, she was just okay. And I was like, you know what? I like her personality. I'm going to really see how far I can go with this. The first problem that happened, I blocked her. I was like, you know what, bro? I never wanted this to begin with. This is the same thing with Licha. I really wanted to try it out, Licha. But you're 5'7". You're not physical. And now you're injury prone. And everyone is mocking us for having one of the smallest center backs in the league, bro. The likes of Arsenal have Gabriel Saliba, uh, 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 Gabriel and Saliba. The, the, the city have Diaz and Stones, uh, ch ch even Chelsea, bro. I'd rather have the Sassi and the Man. We just, we just have, bro, a midget playing in center back, and we're getting the all over the pitch you, when he's playing, bro. You want the Sassi over Martinez? At least the Sassi plays, bro. This is some wild stuff. This is some wild stuff, man. Nah, man. Bro, I Those swear. Those girls are available, the better. Come on, bro, man. I swear, at least the Sassi is a, a, a disaster, bro. Put him and the manager in the summer, bro. Just disaster. Put in the summer, bro. Listen, listen, let me bro, tell you. Bro, we didn't sign Cannavaro, bro. I'll tell you that. Listen, the, the, I, I was hoping that we signed Cannavaro. I'm like, you know what? Cannavaro was 5'7. Bro, <laughs> just pick up and smell the coffee, bro. We didn't we didn't sign nah, Cannavaro, bro. Wild. He's his, his stock is going to appreciate depreciate even more. Just bin him, bro, when you get the chance. I, I don't have to. One second, one second, one second. One second, yeah. Maybe just one second. Big up to uh, knowledge, by the way. When Klopp first came to the Premier League, all his players were getting repeated muscular injuries. Who do you think? That was blamed Klopp. He came off all out rock and roll football and his season he was toned down. Big up Nerby says, watch all or nothing when Mourinho pressured the medical staff. Medical team just advise unless he's completely injured. Final decision is on the manager. Monty says, when your defense overworked with 20 shots per game and under pumped whole game plus injuries, injuries will happen. Next guy natural will be overplayed. Exactly. You see where I'm coming from? There's a narrative building, guys. You may say that call. You know, blame him, blame that. I get it. Go to Argentina. But ultimately, look at the way we play football. It's a basketball, man. That's Bro, true. we play basketball. We don't play football. 
bro, we're playing Garnacho, like when, Gar- when Garnacho gets injured because it's going to be a when, not if, because is the injury is coming. Yeah, I'm blaming, yeah. I'm blaming that 100% on oh, Ten Hag because he started 100%. about 30 straight games. So it's not about favorites. So it's not about favorites then. So what? So when it happens to Corbin Minor or Garnacho, yeah, I'm not saying this to you, by the way, Griggs. Yeah, watch yeah. people turn when it's their favorites. Yeah, they'll be like, "Rah, what's going on? What's happening?" Because again, Garnacho's been overplayed. He's played every game. He's played every game. What are we doing? Seriously. No, listen, listen. Sorry, I, 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 I remember 120 minutes. Sorry, I agree. He had a hamstring injury. On a hamstring, injury. On a hamstring injury, by the way. He had a hamstring strain that week. He 120 you see minutes. what his brother said? You see what his brother said? His brother said, yeah, he played. He had a hamstring train injury that week, yeah. He did it. Yeah, week. and then boom. Come on, man. I agree. I, Come on, I, man. I agree. I agree a thousand percent that a lot of like some of the training methods are over the top. Like there is, there is an, I think he, again, it's a, it's a desperation tactic. You know, he feels like he's under the cost, whatever the case may be. He overplayed players. Actually, I take that back because he overplayed players last season too. And I was kind of okay with it. because we I was kind of okay with it because we were winning and, and injuries weren't really, ha- weren't really happening too much last season. I, but I, I do think there is an element of sometimes it's just bad luck. I, I, I honestly, honestly, Sometimes I think some some of this stuff there's there's years there's, listen listen hold up hold up hold up let me land so there's I'm years I'm tired there's, there's years where you get I'm saying bro I don't have that patience they got no more bro I'm, listen, I'm, I'm look listen. at me bro I'm deflated tired, Staffy, listen I think we can all room. agree we can all I, I'm not gonna speak for everybody from I know most of us don't want the manager here anymore so that's a different that's a whole nother discussion agree to, agree to if, we, if we but if we just if we just say that we're not gonna have anything to talk about so let's just be real. Like this injury thing, some next season it might be Man City. Next season, Man City might be hit with. No, it never happens to City, bro. It never happens to. They, they, I'm just they, saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So you, you know, Pep, yeah. Well, Arsenal, it's all about recovery. City, was Arsenal, Pep, Arsenal, hold up. Was Arsenal rot, not riddled with injuries earlier? In the, am I tripping about that? Didn't they have a lot of injuries earlier in the season? No, no, you know, they don't. They don't. Well, it's all about that. recovery, Actually, keeping the. Or excuse me, like I'm just, I'm just saying. There's, I'm pretty confident. It doesn't happen at Arsenal City, bro. It happens to Arsenal. I, I, I know. Can I just say something? I know what happens. I, I think for me, it's not the. It's not that it doesn't happen at other clubs here, but the alarming rate. You know, what I mean, we're talking about alarming rate of injuries and why it's happening and what type of injuries. It's just non-contact injuries. I don't think anyone can blame anyone. But if you look at Man United's injuries, it seems. Look at the Luke Shaw example. Luke Shaw, the guy is injured. Yeah, he's not injured. He's perennially injured. No, no. Well, I mean, so, so, so why don't you so, manage him then? Why don't you Luke Shaw him came then? back and Luke Shaw came back and he played him ninety minutes, three games in a row in about a week, and then he got injured yeah. again. So he doesn't like man. rotating. He doesn't like rotating. He didn't bro, like. I mean, bro, it's evidential, bro. Look at our season last season, bro. We really saw the season that we had last season. We we're like, oh, we don't need to rotate. We forgot about rotation, bro. Did you guys forget how Fergie used to rotate, bro? We used to go into all the FA Cup bro. games, all the League Cup games with, with all the kids and and the reserves, bro. Win it, win, Come lose on. or draw. We used to go. We used to rotate for that, bro. Fergie used to send players on a week off during the season just to recover and come back. And now this guy just the minute someone is back, he's just bringing him on right away, bro. It's not a coincidence, bro. There's no way I just. Not me and Griggs are sitting there talking yesterday, and they're like, you know what? You should not have brought on Martinez. He's not ready. It's a physical not, game. The day after, he's injured, bro. It's not a coincidence. Arguing. We, I'm, we not, not this arguing, I'm not arguing that there's not culpability there. I'm saying it's a. A culmination of a bunch of different things. That's what I'm trying I to tell agree. you. I agree. Of course, like, Temi. But like, like, how much you're going to blame? Hold up. Hold up. For me, for, for me, when Saeed said, for look. Me, for me, when Saeed says it's 75% his fault, I think that's over the top. I think that's over the top. Bro, I really, listen, I'm not I really said putting a percentage said. on it. I said what I said, man. I, just, I, I said, said what I said. Top. It's 75%. <laughs> well, I hear you. I just think it's crazy. Temi, I agree with you when you're talking about the medical team. I, I do agree with you. split into two factors. Uh, you know why 75%? Sorry, sorry, Stuffy. You know why 75%? Ahead. It's split into two factors. It's split into training and the way we play. That's why 75%. The way we play. Do you not, are we the first team to play high-intensity yes. football? No, no. The, 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 the South Overlook right now, I'm the first team, I'm, it's the first time I've ever seen a team play a low block and a high press at the same time. Bro, Griggs, that, you know I'm who's not, who's a similar I'm team to us, Griggs. I'm not you know who's a similar team to us, and and I'll I'm give you this example. No, 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 no. But that is a ta- no tactics is part of how we play. I'm talking about the intensity of the way. Like you, yes. Clock, I'm, clock the, team, I'm the first. I've, I've, I've never seen a team have to play a basketball match like this in my life, bro. I know we never seen a team have to play basketball never. Like at this level. No, but if you look at Klopp's Liverpool team, they'll have like two, three seasons where they're up, 
and they're firing, and then they'll have like an injury decimated season. They had it last season, and then they had it maybe two, three years ago, man. Like it's they do yeah. have it, but but even Klopp yeah, rotates heavily. Even Klopp will rotate. Even last rotate year, even last year his, his team was aging a little bit as well. Like that team, yeah. yep. how, that I, team I ran for like yep. three years. And then on the fourth year, they were like, you know what? It's time for some maintenance. That's like a car, bro. You need to change your oil every few months. That's what happens with mm. Liverpool. But we we don't even go 10 miles and we got we to gotta go see the mechanic again. My mechanic is a fraud, bro. I'm like, yo, what's going on with this car? It keeps breaking down, bro. That's our team, bro. And Spurs were like that. Since you want to use seen, examples, Tammy. I, I haven't seen Staffy in like a month. This man looks dejected. <laughs> bro, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired, bro. I left my house 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm 6 p.m. on on say TV after a whole day at work, and I'm fasting. And I'm like, oh, let me check the news on my way home. Oh, Lissandro Martinez injured. Oh, new injury. A month. Come on, bro. Yeah. Fuck off, bro. Just I, I want them both out of the team, bro. I don't want to see him no more. Let me um. Let Not me get the super chats one second. Big up knowledge is man blaming medical team for injuries. That's like blaming your doctor for you being sick. Makes no sense. The manager is desperate and we know players are already playing through pain via injections. Strawberry Milk says Safi is right. Also, Timber was Eric Ten Hag's first choice and he turned Eric Ten Hag down. Red flag. Great show. Big up Griggs and Ange. Um, there's a correlation between our style and injuries. Um, big up to KD, KD Sasaid. We had old Driscoll who you have now for, for the last few years, the medical staff was not good. We had a lot of reoccurring injuries. 100% Eric Ten Hag's fault because of team selection. Guys, there's a thousand people in here. Please hit the like button. We've not even hit 500 likes. Everyone right now, smash your like. Take your time to hit the like button. But yeah, anyone else, I don't know who was who was going in there and wanted to say something. No, I was just saying, oh, we're similar saying, to Spurs because in the beginning of the season, they oh. also covered a lot of a lot of yardage and they were running a lot. And look how many injuries they had. Van de Ven was out for a while. Basuma was out with an injury. They had so many players that were injured because of all the running they were doing. Yeah. We're just a worse version of them because at least they apply it a little bit better. And on yeah, the ball, they're better. Always, we always lose the ball and you're running like 50 yards to me. I'd no, love I, to see I, you I, run 50 I, I yards of the couple minutes in another minute. Agree. I agree. I agree with that. That is absolutely 1000% correct. Like, I'm not arguing. Like, when we, when we, when we, when a team, this is why Mano doesn't play 90s, by the way, Tim. I agree. When a team breaks our press, our not our shitty ass press, like, our, 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 play, our players are chasing back 40, 50 yards at a time. I, I, agree, I agree with that. It's but, mad. The but, way we are doing look, things. So the let's, way let's let's break down who's been injured this real quick. Like let's break down who's been injured this season. Okay, I'll go. I'll show you. Like, I'll show you. May not injuries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's let's say who hasn't been, been injured? No, who has? Who has? Who has? Who has? I'll just say who hasn't. It's quicker if you do. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. But I don't understand, bro. Since LVG days, we've been having injuries. Man, you used to have to watch Borthwick Jackson and shit uh, every day. So I don't understand why we move in surprise. Like uh, Borthwick really... Jackson played nah, because nah, nah, but nah. the show broke his leg. That, that's something then, completely different. Who, who else? Who else? Who else? Tyler Blacklit, Adnan Yanuzai. When all these kids have to show up, why? Marcus Rashford when he got called up, why? Even all our youth players get injured a lot, man. Injuries. On the Mourinho. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 Shay Lacey's they, been injured. Um... Yeah, a lot of our youth players have been injured all season. Folks who this men website, on TV, you could go on, bro. Mm. But this, this website, I don't know if you can see it yet, but yeah, yeah, it just yeah. shows you uh, the injury. So, bro, Luke, Shaw okay. injury. Luke Shaw always Martial, injury. Martial, Martial and Malaysia, that's just useless talk. They don't even count as an injury. Martial, Bayende, Johnny Evans, Evans is 50 years Amadiallo. old. Diallo. He was overplayed. Varane injury overplayed. prone. No. Oh, that's, yeah. that's just it. Yeah, that's I don't, just I, you know what? There's, there's obviously other injuries that happen in the season. I have to get it. But Mason Mount, he's been injured for a while. Only just come back as well. You know what I mean? That happened as well this season as well. Um, so there's been injuries, man. Been you know who hasn't been injured? You know, Saeed, who hasn't been injured? Uh, Rashford. Rashford doesn't run. So he hasn't been injured all season. He's been you know what? That's, <laughs> That's not how that works because he's actually been injured. He's been playing through an injury. Who? Rashford? Yeah. He's yeah, but you know Rashford, he'll get the slightest of nicks, and he'll be like, "Oh, he's so melodramatic." Oh my god! Nah, nah, he, really, he, he broke his back for the club, by the way. But yeah, it's cool. uh, that back thing—he said he couldn't play. Oh, oh I, I could go yeah. into a hole, but he's still about it, bro. He, he, he's, he got a double back fracture. No, he had a shoulder injury, and then he—you yeah, can play through that. You yeah, can play through that. He, don't, don't, don't you can play through what through a double back fracture. Like, you can play. Hey, he plays through My, Mike Tyson, and he won a fight with a broken spinal cord. Oh, 
But Mike, but bro, have you seen that clip where he goes, I broke my spine and you still want to fight? Who, Mike Tyson? I don't want I don't want a player playing through a double break fashion. There, oh, what is I what's the point of that? Back. No, play, uh, but honestly, do though play, players play through a broken back? All, like it's not as serious as you think. They play through that all the time. Like if you have a disc injury, completely different story. But if you have no, a broken, no, 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 you why can't Martinez through play through? Why can't Martinez play through a calf strain? Yeah, people are playing through injury, though. Yeah, that makes right. no sense. That makes that makes zero sense. It's a di bro, it's, it's like a hospital type shit, bro. Y'all want yo? I have, I have the same thing in basketball. I got my my OG and know we got an elbow injury, injury, and they want bro. him to play like every day, bro. If someone got an injury, they, it's up to them if they want to play or not. It's all about your pain tolerance. If someone has a low pain tolerance, it is what it is. They don't want to play through it. That's up to them. At the end yeah, of the day, it's their health. It's their, it's their body. It's up to them. Yeah, and, the, and it's a club's decision where, like, you're you're not strong enough, mentally strong enough. We don't want you. It's, you know what it you is? Gotta you, don't want to you, you, gotta, you play in the Prem. You make a lot of money. You just got to get with the program and get yourself a nice nutritionist. Take care of yourself. Sleep early. Stop doing dumb shit at night, and then that's do really think, what it, Do you think Lissandro has not done his bit as well, though? I know we talk about Ten Hag a lot here, yeah, yes. but Lissandro, man, do you he's not, like, when he's gone to Argentina, he's just gone obviously there. He's not. I don't know what he's doing over there. Was he just trying to play around with his mates? I don't know. He's come back. Yeah. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Like, yeah. could he do a bit better? I think he could, but at the same time, I'm like, yo, it is. It, it does raise questions, and you know what? Get me two defenders in the summer. I said it, yeah, and everyone kept saying, oh, we only need one. We need two defenders in the summer. Yeah, Maguire will probably relieve. I, no, someone said even three defenders. You know what I mean? Because are you putting Kwambala in there as one? Evans will probably relieve. Maguire nah. will leave. Lindelof will probably stay. But again, That's why I said I would keep Evans next year. People, people, people thought I was joking when I said that. I said, bro, put him on a one-year contract because you got to bend so many other center backs. He's the last one you need to worry about. Because you put him on one more Three contract. Back, you know. would, That's yeah, but, but, who's selling Maguire? Is that even feasible, man? Well, Mag who's, buying, who's buying Maguire? That's, the, that's what I'm saying. That's beyond the point. We're just talking about who we need to sell. You need to sell Maguire. That's 100%. I mean, oh, well, I mean, okay, are we talking about like the re the realism of the situation because obviously we're not buying three center backs next summer. Like, no, summer. we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. Two. two we're probably best. not, but that's two what I'm best. saying. But that's what I'm saying. Keep a couple of them. That but you know what happens? Right Luke Shaw can play left center back. Luke Shaw can play left. No, center I was back. gonna say keep him one more see. year. Keep him one more year in time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think. No, no, no. Hear me I out. Swear We're gonna down, man. hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not. I'm not trying to have him start. So we, said, we sell Martinez. Start. We sell Martinez, but keep Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has more stock than Martinez, anyways. You can what? sell Mar Luke Shaw a year later. Has more what? Sorry, what was that last part? Has more. Has more what? Stock. I don't. I don't think he does. Stock. Stock. Luke, Luke try Shaw. to sell both. Try to stock. sell both of them tomorrow. Try to sell sell I both think, of them tomorrow. I think Luke Shaw will actually have a bigger. You get a bigger offer for Luke Shaw, bro. English stacks. English stacks. You, you no, bro. He's on like, bro, he's on, like, bro, he's on two fifty bags a week. No one paying him that kind of it's money for I, I, Yeah, but see, now it's you're talking about, 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 Ike, about his contract. Bro, it's not even Luke Shaw. I'm just being no, real. That's, like, that matters, though. Money for him. You're, when you're when Luke Shaw said, I, I will say this. When Luke Shaw is fit and healthy, yeah, and which is rarely these days, he is one of the best players in his position in the world. He is. Last <laughs> year, bro, when he's I playing for a contract. I that, bro. I, well, really I, did, bro. I, like, I gave up on so uh, then really last year, so last year player, when he was playing, uh, this is the thing. He was playing for his contract. He looked much slimmer. He was fit, healthy. He played every week. He was the best left back in the Premier League last year. There was bro. no doubt about it. But nah, he's, he it's just man. he's Nathan Aki. Nathan Aki was man. And he's. You, you think Aki's a better player yeah, than Shaw? Sure. You think Aki's uh, a better player uh, than Shaw? Sure? Yeah, left back. Yes, yes. I'm thinking yes, Nathan Aki. Come on, bro. Better. Any day of the week. Bro, no, this is You guys baited me last time on the show. I'm not doing this again. Last time you guys baited me. I tried to defend him, and he, uh, all of a sudden, oh, stuff, you called him more class. Not doing this again, Saeed. Bro, I know I'm taking it for you, man. Are you mad? He, all of a sudden, he's class to, go to, to the big six if on, on Thursday. You're not baiting me anymore. Yeah, if Pep had the choice between Nathan Ake and Luke Shaw, he's picking Luke Shaw. Yeah, yeah, fit and healthy. Not, not, every day not, of the week. not Pep 2024. Not Pep 2024. Yeah, this Pep just wants defenders, bro. The old Pep would have took him. What don't you like about him, Saeed? Can you just make it your case for me, please? Bro. Oh, no, Listen, I, you know what it is here with me here. Yeah, we look for you. Know? You really hold up. Yeah. Really, you really big enough. I need a content creator to have a Luke Shaw. I need a second. Like, we really big enough, Luke Shaw over Nathan Aki right now. Yeah, he's a better player. That's what they're doing. What they're doing. I would, I would really have. Hold on, hold on. Much better player. Wait, wait, wait. Stafford, wait, I would, understand. Wait, Stafford, you got a crush wait, on him, but you really believe that? Wait, I would rather have when when he's fit, when he's fit, when he's fit and healthy. He is one of one of the best players. In the I, world, 
not not just the Premier League, one of the best players in the world. Yeah, at fit and healthy. Say left back. Say left back. Not players. Say left back. Not players. Yeah, yeah, left back. Sorry. Left back. Left back. Yeah, left back. Yeah, left back. Yeah, My bad. Yeah. My, I, so I, I was in his position. Get, 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 get. He did say in his position. Yeah, in his position. In his position, he is one of the best players in the world. Call my next left back, man. I would still sell him because he is. He's he's weight yo's too much. He's not he's not a great professional. I don't think he's a great professional. Oh, he's okay, crazy. so this is why I'm saying this. Hear me out though, because exactly. because like, you guys you misunderstood me. One second. This this is this is what you guys misunderstood me at. You have a better chance keeping Luke Shaw on the team as a bench option than Martinez. Martinez is not gonna sit on the bench. Okay. Why not? This is why I'm selling. You think Martinez is gonna sit on the bench? Yeah. What's gonna happen? What's he gonna do? Right, what's, what's he gonna do? I, I don't think so, bro. I'm sorry. I don't think this guy came to England to sit on the bench. I really, you know, don't. a lot of you know, people so, so, on the bench, and sometimes they got a whole bench. I, I, not him, just quickly. Sorry. Luke Shaw's been in this club way longer, and you can use his injuries as, as an excuse and his durability because you can use him in, in multiple positions. I don't think Martinez has been here for this long that we're gonna be able to convince him that, oh, yeah, listen, you picked up a few injuries. Now we gotta, we want to demote you to the bench. I don't think so, bro. And he's not here for the long term, anyways. So I that's what I'm saying. I actually just, don't want to get out think Nathan Aki is better. It, it, Luke Shaw is better than Nathan Aki. Like, I, yes. that, that's just... When he's he's not, a better... Oh, bro, please, 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 please. He's, he's he technically, like, three Nathan. times a player than Luke... Te technically, Luke Shaw, he's one of the best crossers. Like, his crossing's unbelievable. Bro, bro. That's bro, what I was relax, waiting for. Relax, the couple relax, crosses relax. that we did a game. That's what I was waiting for. The couple I'm crosses. Saying, attack man. wise I mean, attacking-wise, Luke Shaw's obviously better than Nathan Aki. Nathan Aki is a center back at, at he's trade. A center like, he's back. he's not a left saying. back at trade. It's just exactly. Pep Guardiola that plays him at left back. Exactly. Like, he's not even a left back. He's a center back. Same way Guardiola's not a left back. Guardiola's a center back. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? What does that tell you? He's still better than Luke Shaw. Pep has embraced terrible things in 2024. He wants to play four defenders at all times because he all of a sudden wants to be Sam Allardyce. That's not my problem. Well, he's bro, he's playing, bro. He's playing and fucking Gavardio on the left back. And these guys want to tell me that Nathan and Aki is a better left back. Last season, he was a left back. Now he's back to being center back. Bro, just let it go, bro. I swear, bro. I don't know how you guys you know, are. You know what the other thing is? is actually, I feel the pressure like, that you can't praise You know, you know what the other thing is? There, Steph, but he's not that every, good. every city defender looks better than our defenders because they're less exposed in yes. transition moments. Like, like, our defenders are, like, we're playing against sometimes four or five players coming at him. Like, if Luke Shaw played for City, we would regard him as yes. one of he the best played played defenders in, in the world. City. He would have played for City. Pep oh, would, would love him. Pep would love him. Yes, he would. He would uh, absolutely yeah, yeah. start uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, What do you think he said? Let me, let me, I want to hear your, your thoughts Bro, on this. Bro, when you, when you, when you, he doesn't even play with a left back. He doesn't even play with a left back at Man City. Yeah, he has oh. Gomez on the bench. He has other players on the. He plays with left back. He plays with the centre back at left back because he knows first and foremost you have to be a good defender. Yeah, that's what he does. Yeah, wrong, what did he? This looks short. Wrong, wrong, wrong. He doesn't have a what? good enough left back. He doesn't have a good enough left back. That's why he's playing Ake and. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, it's not bad. Intelli intelligence. No, hold on a minute. It's intelligence. Not if Ken intelligence. Ken Reading of the game. Intelligence. Let me, like, land, let me land. Let me land. Let me land. When Cancelo was there, when Cancelo was there, when Cancelo, before Cancelo fell out with him, was he playing? And who displaced him? Who displaced him? Who played? Who displaced him? He, left back. He displaced because of talent. He got displaced because of back and forth with the manager. That's not. You no, 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 no. no. I, I, I disagree with that. No, no, no. I disagree with that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. No, no. What happened? No, no, no. What happened? He changed after that Real Madrid semi-final. Yeah. That's no, no. Hold, hold on, but hold on. Pep wants to mitigate. Pep wants to control every single action of the game, and he realized exactly. that he hates. He doesn't want fullbacks out there because they can get defensively Thank exposed. You. So he's like, "I'm yes. gonna put two defenders at fullback." He oh, Kyle Walker is the only Thank fullback you. that he'll accept because Kyle Walker is. He didn't play Kyle Walker, Walker as well, by the way. He didn't play Kyle, Kyle Walker. Walker he benched a lot last year, right? So he wants exactly. four, he wants four center backs. Thank you. He wants to limit the amount of chances he he can. When Kings won the transition, if he has dual winning monsters at fullback, he can limit the amount of goals he can see per game, and he and he lets his front six dictate it. That's what Pepe. Do I agree with it? No, because for that's me, cool. it's terrible that's football cool. to watch. Because on Sunday, I was watching Guardiola cool. and a that's why I said he won't get into the team. Wing, it's terrible. Why are we acting as if Pep doesn't change what he does? There was there was a time where he's playing three at the back. He was playing a, a three. A three four three. Yeah, like he he changes up every two because he's bored. He has money. No, no. no. So can I respond to that? Can I respond to that? So what happened was he was getting exposed in those big in those big Champions League games against the best wide players in the world. He was getting exposed, yep. yeah, and he kept losing semifinals, finals, quarterfinals, and then so let me let, let me learn. So what happened was he made a conscious decision to make that change. 
to have really strong de- so he even spoke about it rio was asking him in one of the bt interviews well, he goes what's changed this year and everybody thought it was harland no it wasn't harland he goes i like having mm. players that n- know how to defend that love defending he's talking about that in those big he goes what changed this year and he goes the main reason he goes i got defenders that enjoy defending and that's why he didn't want Cancelo anymore. And that's why he took yeah, he, Walker he out. Even though Walker's a great, great defender. I'm but not, I'm, Sam Allardyce. I'm not arguing that. I promise you, in two seasons, he's going to have a completely different formation, a completely different way of playing. Tell me, I told them that a few years ago. Tell me, he used to play midfielders in the back yes, line. Now he plays play center backs in the midfield. But guys, listen, 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 everything. He was a right center back three years ago. What are we talking about? He does this all the time. What is that? Do? Oh, what is yeah, what is you're that? saying he just does it because he's bored. You, the problem is you're saying he does it before he's bored. I'm saying that he does it because he's identified a threat that he wants to counter. Obviously, I'm kidding. That that was not that was not literal. Obviously, what you are saying is correct. You, sh- you he's sure? Accounting, he's accounting for different things within the Champions League. Would you? Whatever. Would you sell him, Teddy? Would you sell him in the summer if you had a chance to, Luke Shaw? Yes, because he's Luke Shaw. He doesn't. He can't stay. Okay. Fit. And would you sell him in the summer if you had a chance to? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so so okay then. So please stop this nonsense about when he's the best on form. And please, bro, it's stop never guys, gonna happen, he's bro. Gone. You're gonna get it for four games. Luke 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 Shaw. Shaw. He's done. Twenty twenty four. You said could be Marsh. I could do this about Martial. I could do this about so many players here. When oh. he's fit, when this that uh, is done. No, no, stop. Briggs, give it up. What? Are you mad? No, no, no. In 2024, I'd still rather have Luke Shaw than Anthony Martial, even if Martial Bro, was fully fit. Are you mad? Listen, Luke Martial is fully fit. Yeah. Right now, Bro, in 2024, yeah. give me Luke Shaw over Martial. He's he's much better his position. Listen, Martial's my favorite player. I agree. Martial's my Martial's favorite player. No, I'm not, I'm not listen, I'm not doing competition. I mean, All I'm saying to you is yeah. so. no, 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 but this is what this is what you're doing. You're painting me out like I'm trying to do one player over the other. All I'm saying to you is here, yeah, this narrative that yeah, you can get could, one yeah, player yeah, when yeah. he's what fit. If, what if, you know, what everybody what could if, do that. Everyone could have that narrative. Yeah, That's why we should have given them that opportunity to. You know what, tell me, I clocked yeah, they, they just hate him in the UK, up. bro. They used to say yeah, Chilwell no, was I, better than him. I, like, I actually I, clocked I, it. They actually hate him so much in the UK. I would have better than Luke Shaw. They used to tell me Chilwell, bro. Remember? Look at Chilwell. I found our next Brexit left back. I found our next Brexit left back. He plays for Ipswich. He has 17 assists this season. Cold player. Lee Riggs. Davis. I don't well, want to hear about him. I, I take doubt him. Why are you hitting on, no, no, no. Why are you hitting on Lee Davis at Ipswich? Why are you hitting on him? He's about to get promoted. Okay. Is he a good player? How old is he? I'm no, not no, hating no, on anyone. About 21, I think. 17 assists in the in like 30 games. The chat's moving mad. The chat's moving mad, by the way. The chat's moving mad. The chat's I, I, listen, 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 what are, the, what are they saying? Of the day, bro. It's not Tony Martial, but he's a shadow. Like, saying Martial. Shadow Guys, hit the like button, people. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. But listen. At the end of the day, bro, listen. Said Brainthwaite is out there, bro. Let's just go and get him. Bro, bro. listen. There's no... I'm, there's I'm no a fight. I'm a fight. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? It's not today, though. Do you see? It's not today, though. Yeah, exactly. Next season, he going to come get an injury. Whatever coach is going to sign him is going to be your best selling. Oh, it's going to be a nice little... I say this thing about Brantley, though. What I've noticed is he does go to ground very early with his challenges. He does need to work on that. He not Lissandro. He falls for the fake shot. And he's going to be overpriced. Yeah. I'm not willing to pay another $70, $80 million for an, you know, another centre-back. Man. We can get to Debo for four. Let's be smart. Yeah. Let's how, about, how, about, how, about, how about we go get an athlete and put him in centre-back? Bro, because I'm tired okay, of this, I'm this, this, this ballet team up that we have. Knowledge. All these softies, bro. Okay, okay. Big up to knowledge. Jose said that he's short brain, but man thinks he can start in pet everything quality on a system that requires intelligence. Don't make me laugh, bro. Shaw can start at Spurs. Chelsea's Shaw's not literally sick. such an intelligent big up player. To no- big up to knowledge, by the way. Big up to knowledge each and every time, man. Hope you're well. Shaw needs to terrible move to center back to extend his career. Bro, he needs to he needs to forget football. You know what I mean, bro? That's what he needs to do, man. You know by the way, tell me, tell me, tell me, let me let me just remind these guys. Fergie tried to get him in his last year when he yeah. was 18 or whatever, yes. and then Southampton wouldn't sell him, and they said, the minute we sell him, we're going to go to United first. That's why we got him under Louis Van Gaal. We got him a year <coughs> after <coughs> Let Fergie left. Let, okay, okay, because we're linked with centre-backs, right? We might as well discuss it before we go into this play style, yeah? we got Bremer. I'm going to shout the names out. Bremer from Juventus. He's ass, by the way. Any United fan that's not watched him, mid, please mid, mid. go watch. Bremer, Todibo, uh, Biomande, Brentway. Um, silver. Um, you have Tosin from Fulham. Yeah. Tosin, yes, I like Tosin. Very, very good. I didn't know That's he played the, in the the City Academy. Yeah, he played. The no, Lenny 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 Lenny
Yeah, yeah. Lenny Yoro's going to Real Madrid. I'm not. I'm not bothered about that. Man said, "Chalaba, you know, get out of it." Listen, if Badia Shile is available, I would look at Badia Shile. Me personally, because apparently he's he's looking at he's leaving. Top Soba, that's eight. They need money, um, side. That's a good shout. Who's the so, Argentinian? Who's the Argentinian one that plays? Thankfully, in... Ten Hag is leaving because otherwise we would have gotten linked to the leaked. That's the first thing. Thank God, Tom. bro. That's that's like, yeah. okay. Bro, hey. bin him and bin all his Kim players, bro. Kim Min Jay. Kim Min Jay. He I can't. Me, Eric, he's up. starting Eric Dyer oh, over Kim Min Jay. Exactly. <laughs> that's Thomas Tuchel tax. That's Thomas Tuchel. The guy's lost his mind too. Don't worry about that. He's, he's lost it completely. Tuchel. He's lost it completely. If we get the, that's the waters for uh, Kim Min Jay, I agree. Who's the Argentinian one that we keep getting linked to? Um, eighteen. He's and that eighteen, nineteen-year-old. That kid's going to Nice. If we sign him, he's going to Nice. Bro. Listen, I don't want no potentials, man. Listen, forget the potentials. I need someone who's already ready made, man. You know what I mean? I want listen, I will take that center back from Crystal Palace as well. Anderson, I think he's underrated as well. You know? Mm. Um Lacroix, listen, he's he's I don't know, man. He's FIFA got hype. hype anymore now. FIFA hype, FIFA hype. He's at the FIFA. He's got 90 pace on FIFA. He's not good. That's peak FIFA hype. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's FIFA. That's FIFA hype, man. Like y'all gotta so, so who do we want to watch the footy, man? Yeah, exactly. So who do we want then? Who's who's everybody's top? Ask Omar picks? who he wants. Since uh, every yeah, time on, I Omar. say a player, he 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 doesn't like. So on, Omar, give us your knowledge, I, please. I I agree a lot with your takes. It's just the Luke Shaw. Oh, take. okay, okay. It's, okay. It's, 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 it's struck face. We've been talking about this Luke Shaw topic since last summer, and he's still injured. Oh. <laughs> and it's not like I, I, disagree I, 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 listen, listen, I never disagreed with that. He's injured. I want him gone. You Give just me don't Calvin and I do like this. I was about to say, bro. There it is, bro. Say I'm gonna go pray side. I'm gonna go pray side. That's my type of player. I'm gonna go pray side. Get me out of here, bro. Bro, stop. Calvin Bassi. Hell no. As, 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 a, as, as, as the resident Nigerian, as the resident Nigerian who watches pretty much every Nigerian national team game, hell no. He's he's versatile. Like he's a versatile. Like you know, he can play left back. He can play center back. Bro, he's a Tosin, baller, bro. He's Tosin a baller. is better than him. Bro, it's a monster. It's, it's, Tosin this is one. better than him. I go for this. Y'all go for it looks good on the pitch, right? I look. I, go, I need that. Tosin mental is game. a monster. I like Tosin. I never disagreed to Tosin, but I like Bassey too. I like him at Rangers. I like him at Fulham. Bro, Even at Ajax, he's not. He's not, he's, not, he's, not a, he's not a. He's not a top four player, bro. He's not. He's not. He's a no, he, even Ajax. He was. He was horrible. He was Ajax. He, he was, was at Ajax for a season. Uh, he was. And they didn't. They, they didn't rate him at all, man. He's half. He's, he's half. Listen, he's 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 where he's supposed to be. Half the players for views to sign to have decent players. Incorrect. Well, he, don't do that. Don't do that. What are you do talking that. about, Omar? What are you talking? No, that is incorrect. That we, is we should incorrect. Have a about Fergie signing because it was kind of spooky. What? Let's talk about what, did what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? He said. No, he said. He said. He said every player that for, half the players that Fergie signed. I didn't say every player. Have, I didn't say every player. I said have, there's have, a lot of Fergie right. signings right. that he signed will have decent plays. Who and these men over here. Antonio Valencia, oh, remember when I mentioned Valencia, you, you guys mentioned you he was crap. Yeah, Valencia, Young, yeah. oh, I mentioned you was crap. Bebe, let's talk about Bebe. Nanny, is he available like that? Did you know that? about Nanny before he came him and Anderson? Did any I know about him? No, 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 no let's no. not do that. Let's not do that. Oh, you're naming you're naming like squad players. Like, what, what are we doing? Now squad player. He won't leave. Cal 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 Calvin Bassey is, Calvin Bassey is where he's supposed to be. Fulham. That is his level. Fulham, Fulham. That's where So the... So the Boca Juniors uh, player that I was talking, it was Aaron Anselmillo. Oh, I, I, I saw that. He's but going. Oh, to say, the, by the way, the guy's been linked. He's been linked uh, heavily. Did any of see him play? No. About, about no, no, no. I, I've just seen clips. I've seen. Right now. He looks. He looks very talented on the ball, but I've just seen clips. There's one thing United are doing right now that we all have to realize. Once we get linked to these South American players from now on, know this. Those guys, if we do sign them, mm. they're going. They're getting sent straight to OCG Nice in France, and that's where the development's gonna happen. Because we're finally no, doing true. the multi club. We're doing the multi club model finally. That's why. Uh, that's why it cl actually cost it. That's why Omar Barada came in because he's run. He ran about eight clubs for the city mm. football. No, that's true. They're gonna so use I, that for the also, because of the new Brexit rules, they must have played an international game before you can bring him to England as well. So you can't just bring him straight to England. You have to send him overseas. Because of the new Brexit rules as well, so that you can, if you don't have another multi club, you're you're at disadvantage. With, with so, for example, there's no way we could have signed Garnacho before the new Brexit rules. So we couldn't mm. sign Garnacho again from straight from Spain. They have to have played an international game for us to sign them. So right, those, that's more sad then. Right, put that it changes everything, man. 
Me which one? Which one? Which one? The the Branthwaite. This one here. Let's answer. Let's answer that. Okay, this is a Nigerian. My my Nigerian brother. My name's my name's Temi too, bro. It's all love. My 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 namesake. All right. Calvin Bassey is not as good as Branthwaite. Like, what are we talking Such, about here? Bro, he's not even like, the best center back in Fulham, oh, bro. He's not even the best center back on his team at Fulham, bro. He's a bro, left back. He's, he's a left back. Murillo, Murillo. I like Murillo. I like this guy. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make United great again. Spot, These guys are telling me Calvin out. Bassey, bro. Oh my God. Aggressive. You know bro. what I mean? But listen, but we, we, you know what it is, yeah? Big up to Cam's, yeah? He was on, um, he was on FCM minute. He said he wants like real men. You get me? Like he wants dominant power. Yeah, he said, he, nah, nah, he said it. He said it in a very AO way. By the way, that was a very out of context. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 absolutely no, 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 no. crazy. Good for him. Good for him. I understand Good what you're trying to say, though. He wants yeah, tall. Know, he wants tall physical. Uh, I'm happy for him. Do you do you think we're lacking physicality in yes. this league? Because obviously we haven't got athletes who are just built in this kind of way. Like even Varan, I think he's diminishing in his way. In his athleticism. I think you're not getting the best of Varan anymore. You, you are gonna get. Yeah, Varane's no. Always, bro. Varane's, Varane's always been more this. He's a right? brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Than, than this, like he's obviously. He's, I'm not saying he like in his prime. He obviously, he was a good physical. Strong. He's a, he was yeah, the yeah, best course, center course, back course, I've ever course. seen. No, no. I'm, I'm talking about just. I'm talking about like just the physical. Like yeah. he's always been physical. But I'm talking about now. He plays the game just a little slightly differently, right? He's a great box defender, so as we've seen. Like, yeah, yeah. He's an all world boxer. Like it's 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 ridiculous how good he's in the box, right? But like we need. A, a Vidage esque, right? A Ruben Diaz esque, you know, like physical, like strong center backs. Like we don't mm. have that anymore. Like you know, Gray's gonna. As much as I like Victor Lindelof, that's not gonna get it done week in and week out. Like you can, you that cannot have that as a starting. You can't. Yeah, he's have, one that needs to go too. You forgot can't, about you can't, him. You can't have him as a starting option, right? Nice. Like it's, it's just not the. You need. Obviously, we. I, I, this might sound crazy, but. Like, I don't. I don't need my center backs to be these all world. Like I, I like. I like the John Stones. You know, good on the ball. Like I want very good on the ball, but great physicality. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like great physicality, and we just don't have that. We haven't had that in a minute. So, long, bring bring back the the Chris Smallings. So I mean? I, do you, you guys think that, that is not what we need it, at this football club? I'm joking. Not, yeah. I, 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 you know, I to, 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 everybody agrees that Tadebo is likely to come. Yeah, Tadebo is a. Tadebo looks like he's a like almost certainty to come to United. So, and he's 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 he's, he's got to be everything. He's physical. He's technical. Yeah, yeah, technical. Um, he's, physical. he's a little erratic at times, but well, who's this? Hopefully, he's physical, oh, Tadebo. Tadebo is not physical, by the way. He's not a physical center back. He's a he's, he's a not, he's more of a he's run more run of profile. like profile. He's not even that. Like what I mean, like the John Stones kind of center back, like the Jules Kounde kind of center back. That's what Tadebo is like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, play right back. You know what I mean. Can play in you know multiple positions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. But this is what I'm trying to say. But even even Branthwaite as well. Like I said, you know, if it's a it's a gamble in terms of the money as well. Because then you spend all your budget. Would you go get Tadebo, who's got 30 million apparently, he's worth 30, 40 million, and then you could go get maybe another centre back if you need to. You've got to be smart, man. Because if we end up spending too much there and too much elsewhere, bro, it's not looking good, man. Crazy. And you know. And we don't know who the manager is as well because this manager does not deserve one more penny. I think I, see, yes, Saeed, I but that's manager. the thing, Saeed. Oh. These some of these based on what I think United, are, the way Go United ahead. are gonna do with my my opinion, what I think United are gonna do, especially with this Leecher injury news, the constant injuries, I think United are gonna go all in for Branthwaite, and then they're gonna go sign Tosin on a free, and those are the two center back signings, and then depending further on sales and who leaves, then free. we'll address the third center back. Tosin's on yeah, the free, yes. free. And also, oh, the, new Jason free. Wilcox, okay, bro, the new Jason Wilcox, the, the guy that we just signed, he made Tosin the captain in the City yeah, Academy. The city academy yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have those links. So I, I personally expect, I think Tosin's going to happen. I think we're definitely the face for him. And Jared Branthway, mm -hmm. I think with Leecher not being, first of all, you have, you're going to have a new manager. And Safi was right in, when it comes to a new manager. A new manager may not want to play Leecher at center back. He may have the Cam's opinion. Of, he's so he customized, to, oh, yeah, He's he such might, a customized he, player. But, but that's not saying Leach is not going to be on the squad. Leach could go play left back then, for example. But in terms of center back, he might want just new center backs. So I think, I basically think, I think Jared's going to happen. I think United are going to be in the front of the race for Jared Branthwaite because all of our other competitors already have center back cores already built. And then uh -huh. she's posting. And I'm gonna, I think the Jason Wilcox uh, news is going to. Listen, Griggs, there is a world where I see Leach being in this team. I, I know I'm being a little bit harsh by saying get rid of him. A lot of people agree with me. A lot of people thought I was crazy. 
I do see a world where he exists. I just don't think, based on what I've seen these two years, especially under a new manager, that I want to go into next year. And when people ask me, who's your center back partnership? Leach is the first name on it. I just don't see it anymore. Can he be a part? Yeah. Can he be a part of the rotation? Can he go to left back? Can he go to DM? This We're forgetting today, that he can man. play DM. This has killed me. He can play in I, I had pivot. so much venom, yeah. You know, today I did a video today. I had so much venom. I had so much kind of like, yo, people calling him like a flop and that. And people were saying, yo, he ain't that guy. And I was like, yo, relax. But this injury, I can't lie to you guys. A, I'm blaming a lot of it, like you said, on the manager. But just the fact that... Bro, look at that. United you should have used to call about Ten Hag. This guy, this guy did an interview about a couple of months ago talking about the injury crisis. And he's like, this dude to play, the league... Play on and... the mic. Play on the mic. Play on the mic. Uh, let me, let's hear it. The the this guy talking about it's a survival of the fittest. But we're not Charles Darwin evolution out here. Uh, what's he go doing? Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. The volume. It increased. So it's every time it's like yeah, it's a uh, uh, yeah, survival of the fittest. And we, we did some research about it. And so what you see that the standards in the Premier League uh, from this season uh, to last season, again, are increased. And the quality of the football. I, I would not say the quality, but the winning stats. It's like the intensity. The intensity and the volume. Uh, it increased. So it's every time it's like uh, it's uh, the uh, survival of the fittest. And we, we did some research. What was that game show? Survival of the what? Bro, you guys know that game. Bro. Survivor. Survivor. Is that what you're talking about? Mic away from this motherfucker. Bro, this guy, but this guy's playing, bro, oh, TV guy. shows, bro. Oh, what, look at this guy out of here, man. I've, I've had enough, bro. <laughs> Can we get an egg counter? <laughs> bro, take the mic away from this guy, bro. Every time he talks, he just... Honestly, sorry, I have not listened to a press conference. Oh, uh, let me like, play this video as well. Um... That HD isn't part of the problem, denying the fact. One second. Okay, okay, let me let me play this video here. I don't know what this is from, but I'm assuming this is about training or, or something like that. Let me play this video. You just explain what's what's happened and how long you think he's gonna be out for. Uh, it's, a, it's a small injury, but two, three weeks. Um now what happened, that is um, the risk. Playing high intensity um, training. Um, as I say, it's it's not a big injury. What was it? It's Hoyland, isn't it? That was a Hoyland yeah, injury. This is Hoyland. This Hoyland. Is Hoyland. Yeah. But look, look what he's saying, like the risk, bro. What do you mean, risk, man? Broski, if you know people are flying, yeah, and they're dropping like flies, stop doing this intensity. But like, you know what's mad as well? What game? Apart from thirty minutes, have we shown intensity in terms of what we're doing? Like when you look at it, right? Liverpool game was thirty minutes. After that, it was like Liverpool bossed the whole of the second half, and then the last fifteen, and then we kind of, you know, we kind of got through. It. We got the late goal and the euphoria on the kind of feeling. When you look at it, we don't even play high intensity training anyway. We let teams have the ball. We get dominated. We have about they have eighty five touches in our box. Like this myth about oh, but high intensity, Broski. You don't even do it anyway in the pitch. Because they don't so, apply it correct, so Saeed. That, that's the thing. I think yeah. he has this image in his head where he feels like he's doing better than he does. Because I do see what he's trying to do. Don't get me wrong. He just like it's so shit. And I don't know why he doesn't do it correctly. Is it the players? Yeah. Is it him? But this idea that he presses high up the pitch. Like, I feel like he really thinks when he presses, he just got, gets unlucky sometimes with the press. Because he never yeah. comes out after the game. He's like, you know what? We didn't execute our press correctly. Oh, the midfield wasn't where they're supposed to be. The back line, uh, the, the, the full backs weren't pressing high up the yeah. pitch. Bro, I'm seeing Bruno press the, press the goalkeeper, bro. Like, what, what is this? That's not that, that's not really a system oh, of pressing, bro. When messed. your midfielder is out of position and you're leaving main on his own because the press wasn't mm -hmm. executed, what high intensity are you talking about? You're, you think you're doing high intensity pressing, but you're really not. I think he thinks high intensity. Like I think he thinks like 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 you y'all said like the basketball game aspect of the way. Yeah, we like run back and forth. Like run back and forth. I think he think like he said in the last press conference that he doesn't mind that we face we conceded thirty plus shots. He said I don't mind as long as I know I've seen that. He said that out of his mouth. So that 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 goes to tell you that he thinks what's going on is okay. It's okay. 
Yeah, yeah. He I, says I don't think he believe. Do you guys believe that he actually believes that though? I don't. I think he believes it. I don't think. That's the same guy that said Eros come to an end, bro. You think he was? No, I think I think he's just he's. I think he doesn't know how to fix it. He's just trying to remain positive. He said some wild things. Very easy to fix it. And why would you say it with me? Say it with me. Say it with me. He's deluded. Say it with me. Why would you make? Okay, let's just say let's let's go with your logic, right? And that he he does he's just saying that to deflect. Why would you make yourself look like a fucking idiot in front of the whole world yeah. saying that conceding 30 shots is not a problem? If you just say, no, it's obviously not it's obviously a problem. We need to fix it. We'd all be like, all right, that's a bet. Even though we- <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I think he thinks it's more incriminating. It's more incriminating to say, yes, it is a problem. And then they'll be like, why haven't you? It's been, it's been ongoing all season. It's no, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's right. You're, there's a different thing. I'm I'm saying that he thinks it's incriminating to say there's a clear problem. I don't know how to fix it. I think I, I, they'll be like, I, 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 "What I are you me. doing here?" Then I hear you. It's more incriminating to me to say to 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 try and either gaslight us, right, and say that yep. thirty shots is okay. That's more to me. That's it's either to your point. He'd be gaslighting us. What you're saying is he's gaslighting us and he's trying to make us believe that thirty shots conceded. On, or 20 well how many shots have we conceded in the last five games like 110 120 I mean, we're right. averaging 16 point I think is six i think what, shots conceded we, so it's the third so most in yeah the we've what, conceded what, since the turn of the year we've conceded the most shots in the premier league so we're, we're number we're one pretty much in shots conceded, we're number one we're, we're, we're amongst the uh, relegation teams like listen and you can ask and we, this is our first panel together you can ask the, the whole panel I, I i strongly defended this man up until probably like the midpoint of the, like strongly defended. He was him. pissing me like, off. I do remember. Like strongly defended him, but it gets yeah. to a point where it's like, bro, when you're lying to me, like I, I think I know football. I'm, 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 I think I know yeah. football. I think I know football pretty well. When I see and hear someone who is trying to manipulate my mind into thinking something where I Fact. know that is, yeah. I mean, he's insulting he's our. Insulting but it's, it's, insulting but I'll be honest. It's not about. It's not about you. Like, like, it's, not, it's about like. How do you get? So this is. Have you guys not noticed that? Is it, uh, the, no, you guys, have I, you guys not noticed? Let, me, let me just say that. You can't say that. What do you mean? It's not about. No, you no, 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 no. No, but it, like, it's. I, I mean, okay. like, it's about how, in the press conference. He's the, he's not talking to you. He's talking to the players. Yeah, and have you guys not noticed that there's been a significant shift in the way he talks since the um, Ineos took over? He's been yeah, a lot Ineos. more positive <sighs> to the point where yeah, he's yeah. delusional, a hundred percent. So he, he, he was talking about even in that same press conference, he was talking about how he City even struggled against Brentford, and even the previous conference, he said some very delusional stuff. He's been told. No matter what happens, you have to keep morale up. You have to keep things positive. He used to be. Remember, yeah, he, yeah, at the yeah. last season, he'd come out. Last season, he'd come out, and he would say, he would say, "Not good enough, rubbish." He'd say things like that. Do you guys? He, and even he'd say things like, "Our oh, players didn't follow instructions." He'd say that a lot. So a lot of those things where he put it on the players in the press conference. Now he stopped all that. Now he's become yeah. deluded. So it's not about us fans. It's, I, it's no, what, I, it, I what it is. That. It's about the okay. players. But okay, yeah, go. Okay, you're right. I hear what you are saying. Here is my problem with that logic. You can be positive and honest at the same time. You like imagine if he said this. Let let me let me rework his words. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ten Hag is thirty is thirty shots plus conceded in a, in a game concerning to you? Yes, that is very concerning. Mm. But I do mm. believe I do believe we can fix this. It's been happening mm. for a few weeks. We've been working on it. It hasn't been. Yep. Coming, but I believe we can make this better. Is that not positive and honest? Is that not positive and honest? No, I, 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 he's not, he's not the greatest wordsmith. Like he's wait, not. A, wait, 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 wait. I let you talk. As opposed to looking in the camera and actually telling us that thirty shots against Brentford, who is what are they fifteenth right now in 15th, the table or something like 15th. that? Femi, eighty-one touches in our box. Right. 80, 80, 81 touches. Are, telling us that that is okay is is not positive. That's not positive. That's just that's just that's gaslighting to the of the highest order. Of the not to mention after order. the city game, remember when we got dominated on position? He said it was it was uh, small margins. They had bro, more shots than we had possession. Bro. So let, let, let me let me throw this back. let me throw this scenario. Let me let let me ask you a question. Real quick, real quick. If Ollie Gunnar, with Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer said that same thing, 
if Ali no, of course, who I, who I criticized heavily, said that same thing, I'd be like, get the hell out of my club. So I have to keep the mm. same energy, bro. I have to keep the same energy. No, I, I agree. I agree. So if he said this, because this has been an ongoing problem the whole season. So if he said three months ago, it was a problem and he still hasn't fixed it. He'd be held accountable for it. What he's trying to do is trying to, he's trying not to be held. He, this is his answer. His answer is we concede a lot of shots, but the XG on those shots are very low. That's his response. Yeah. He's saying, look, we know what we're doing. We it's, we're doing this on purpose. That's what he's trying to present to the public and to the players. Like we know what we're doing. We're Wasn't conceding low. Extra? Three? Well, didn't they have an XG of over three that game? Am I no, sure? it was crazy. Like, it's all delusional stuff. I agree. I'm, I'm not saying. The thing like, is, bro, just, it's just like, regardless of all this, and bro, Saeed would know this. In the, but the thing is, regardless of all this, and Saeed, you, you go to a lot, a lot of games. He's retained yeah. a lot of support from a lot of supporters. I'm still surprised, man. Like, bro, they haven't turned on him. Mean. They haven't turned. No, you it's know crazy. It's because, it's, because they're saying that under new structure, that he deserves a chance. When the reality is, yeah, you can see by the football we're playing. And you know what's mad as well, yeah? People say it's the players, it's the players, yeah? Broski, it's the damn system of what we're doing, man. The players only adhere to what they're following. Yeah, there are some of them, like Bruno Fernandes, who are just trash, yeah, for me, in my point of view. And Rashford, yeah, who are just silly, yeah? But most of them can't adhere to the system. Juan Bissaka is getting smoked, for every single time there's a turnover or there's something happening, that right there is unacceptable. You seen the? Did you see the guys? Um, did you see um the way they lobbed the ball over? Garnacho had to keep running up and down. Did you see that? Where he basically tried yeah, to yeah, press, yeah. and every time when he tried to press here, yeah, they went the ball over him, and then they just easily. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. I saw I saw those clips on Twitter. And did you see the Anthony one? Did you see the Anthony one? He just came on right, and he tried to press, and they played the ball through straight away into midfield. Oh. It's too so half anyone passes anyone who still thinks it's, it's two anyone passes and half our team is 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 chasing the ball. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's, simple. it's so easy to break it's to break through us, yeah. Temi. And this is what I'm saying. Anyone who thinks is it's the players and not the tactics, I have bad news for you. That Brentford team that put put four past us that day, we only had three players that started from yeah. that team start two days ago, and it was yeah. uh, Delo, Rashford, and Bruno. Everyone else on the pitch was different. Yet Everyone. the performance was similar. Where we're getting dominated on the pitch, it's very simple. The tactics are not tacticing. The players look nope. hopeless. They look helpless, Said. And I made this example the other day. I said, You never try to build furniture and you lose the manual. You don't know what to do. You <laughs> You're losing your mind. That's that's what these players look like. They go on the pitch off the ball, they have no clue what to do. And it's not a surprise that all the good players that we rate look like shit. And all the players that we have doubts about. They also look like shit. No one had doubts about Casemiro before he came in. No one had doubts about Varane when he came in. All these players, all of us here have a crop of players that we rate more than the others. Guess what's the common denominator? They all look like shit. Team, that, that I said this to Griggs as well. I was like, yo, you remember when it yeah. was like, everyone wants, oh, it's P and it, P and FC versus technical players FC. We both lost. We both yeah. lost. These players have no physicality. And the 11s on the pitch, the lack of technical ability of the players that we have right now is actually insane. And we're yet insane, to blame them. We're, yet, we're always blaming the players, and people still want to defend this manager. Even though most of these players, even the players on the bench, Matt on the bench, he brought him in and didn't play him. Amrabat has been on the bench. He brought him in and didn't play him. Anthony's on the bench. He brought him in and doesn't play him for He's obvious reasons. He's not for obvious reasons. He's not going to survive, bro. And that's the, that's kind of the silver lining of this is like, I, I, from what I've seen from Enio so far, I've done a lot of reading over the past few weeks. I, I like I like the what Sir, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has to say. I like the people he's bringing in. All the like, I just can't imagine Omar Barada and, and Sir Dale Brailsford and all these different guys coming in and looking at what's going on and thinking. Mind you, these are high performing sporting executives. Like they've seen success. This is not like a this is not like a, a some people who hey, are new. Of like they've seen success, right? So I can't imagine that they're gonna sit and watch. If they watch that, if Surgeon Ratcliffe watched that performance this past weekend, he's gonna be like, "Bro, he's gone. Like he's gone. There's no way. Like let's just let's just, uh, let's just see this season out and get this." Apparently, out. apparently he didn't like the Fulham game, and this was, I think it was James Duck. He works for the Times, and he's clued into Ineos. Like they leaked to him hard. 
he was saying the Fulham game and the game just went past yeah, the Brentford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't go run. down. It didn't go down well. But we knew that already, man. Like the, the chance if he stays at the start of imagine he's the coach to start next season. I've, it'd be a disaster. It'd be a no, he it'd be crazy. Be well. which is crazy. Why, which is why I'm not I'm not like this season is more about like this the, the rest of what do we have? Nine games left. This season is about just maybe winning the like getting a chance to win the epic, going to an epic cup final. Maybe. That's it. We'll leave it a high, like, and then leave, you know, then leave. We'll, we'll leave. Leave on a high, then leave, and you know, and we get a new manager, and whoever that manager is, I promise you, I'm mm. backing that manager. Full throttle. Here we go. I don't care who it Omar, is. Omar, are you Tanagin? Is Omar are you Tanagin still? Are you still back in the manager? I never heard from you, you know, to be honest with you. I get in trouble if I speak, so I'd rather not speak, bro. Bro, say your no, mind. No, no, bro. Bro, bro, who, 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 who are you getting in trouble from? Oh, bro, we've been this. Edge, you just new to this, brother. <laughs> you just new to this, brother. You just new to this, especially with this, with this squad over here. It's suicide squad, so you got to be careful what you say. This is held against you in every court. <laughs> That's oh, true. I want it to be. Bro, I can't, I can't. I like the dude, bro. Last season, the dude gave me really a lot of hope. This season, I don't know what the hell happened. But he definitely lost his mind. And I'm going to stick to the fact that it's the player injuries that every time we finally get a flow with something, something is not there or a piece is always missing. But Staffy did have a great point, and y'all know I don't agree with Staffy, but there's times where the tactics ain't tactical. So I can't disagree mm -hmm. to that. Can but I say one thing, one thing to you before you continue? Last game, the only player we had out injured was Luke Shaw. Who you don't rate? You make you make <laughs> what you want from that. Just, I don't know what happened this season. Obviously, last season, but ball mm. ball some performances with a lot of individual errors. Let's be honest with that. There was a lot of games that we lost this season or lost points on that was a lot of individual errors. But I'm just yeah, nah. I don't. I, 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 think, I want I you know what it is. I'm I'm. I'm I'm hoping he does change for the better, but it doesn't look like it. So I guess I'm gonna have to stick with the fact that he got to get out of here. You get hey, what I'm Omar, saying? Yeah, Omar. I think I'm I'm probably the second most like friendly to Ten Hawk on the panel. Like, mm. I, like I'm. But where I where he lost me is when he started lying to me. Like I really appreciated his candor, his honesty. Because even last season we didn't play spectacular football, but like he was no one. But it was he, solidity. It was solid. It was solid. There was, there was, there was nope. a team shape. There's no team shape, yep. bro. If you don't have a team, None. Shape, what that's the for me that's the most important thing in football. Like, if you don't, mm. if your team doesn't have a shape that is consistent nope. week in and week out, how Facts. do you expect you can't you can't build on that? Like, you can't build on a team that has no shape. You know what I'm saying? Like Bruno Fernandez, his best season was last season. Why? Because he was he was composed. He, he wasn't as reckless as he always is. He kept it. His simple. best what best season at United was last season. Absolutely, in my opinion, no questions asked. It was, it was he was. Are you, are you serious? Because of his diversity as well, when he played the left what? center back, that, that, he, I, didn't bro, get it I thought he was crap for most of the season, man. I really, I don't Bruno, know, man. You thought Bruno was crap last season? That was his yeah, best I did. season. He went. Oh, oh, he, he went Bruno magical, man. He went magical. He was just. Oh, no, he was, nah, he was average a lot of a lot of games. I watched him like oh, I left yeah, a lot. Man. I wanting more, bro. I want more, Wait, man. From you, this give me Paketa, man. Give me Paketa oh, and get rid of this. Oh, bro, bro, man. First of, all, Bruno, first of all, Bruno's terrible. I'm not. I'm not telling you that I think Bruno's a good player. He's awful. T tell me, I'm hates just, Bruno. I'm saying that. I'm free saying, two, I'm, free, free Bruno, man. I'm saying that last season. He played like he had a brain, like like he had a brain. Mm. You know he was I'm our saying? best player. He was one of our best players last season for sure. He wasn't mm. one of our best players. He was, was, he was Rashford. Like, Rashford had a one. Like, no, Rashford was Cas Casemiro. Casemiro wasn't even top three. I top three. Rashford, season, Rashford Casemiro, Shaw. All right. No, yeah. 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 If you analyze, Casemiro it, used to. I'd actually, I'd argue that Bruno had a better year than Casemiro last year. There's a good argument, a bro. No, bro, you do understand that Bruno oh, is a, is a was winning, good argument over eighty. Wait, 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 he was winning. Oh, yeah, he was winning yeah, over eighty yeah, percent of his tackles, bro. Yeah, he also That's missed exactly. like eight games of suspension. Yeah, bro, 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 bro yeah, I'm not gonna give like, you quality, 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 quality of a quantity, man. Oh, That's still no, 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 bro. bro if you're gonna use that argument, if you're gonna use that argument, Bruno always wins. He never misses a game. So Bruno's the best player in the world because he never misses. That's when you're comparing. No, because I use that when you're comparing two players that I think had similar quality seasons. Bruno did it for a longer period of the season for me than Casemiro. No. Even when Casemiro came back, 
from that suspension? Was it like April or stuff like that? He was slow. He yeah, yeah, he was slow. He even started the season off rusty. When he when he started off the, the first couple of games after he came back, he started rusty. It was about the Octo- about October to February stretch where he looked good. After that, for me, Casemiro kind of fell off towards the end of the season, in my opinion. I think Bruno, for me, last year was definitely his best season. And I think he, for, I'd say about, so what, there were 38 games, right? He played 37 because he mm. missed one suspension. I'd yeah. say about 32 out of 33 of them, he had a good game, in my opinion. I think that's why a couple, a couple of the big wild. six, big oh, six bro, games, bro, he didn't bro, have a good game. Bro, bro, I'm not going to lie. I want to challenge Andrew real quick. And we're not talking about GA and stats here. We're talking about 90 minute performances. Okay? Yes. Yeah, which is oh. GA and th- thank you for that. Thank you for bro, that. I appreciate bro, that. Bro, the, bro, Bruno Fernandez, just because like those seasons where he was scoring a bunch of penalties and, 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 mm. and bro, this, this, this season that he's having right now is pretty much how he's been. A lion's share of his United career, okay? Not not composed, giving the ball away too cheaply, trying things when they're not on, pressing pressing goalkeepers when you have no business doing that, ruining our team shape. That has been Bruno Fernandez That's a majority nice. of his United career. For a majority of his United career, okay? That's Last true. season, he was, like Greg said, composed probably 30 games. I said, man, he's a 7 out of 10 today, which I could not say a, a bunch of season, seasons la- prior to that. I, you know what I remember? I like last season. Remember the post post the games, Casemiro would be having a goal, Bruno, because he'd be making dumb decision after dumb decision during the game. You guys remember that, yeah? Where they'd be fight, arguing and bickering post the game. Even for example, the FA Cup final. Even the FA Cup final, for example, um, not the FA Cup final, the Carabao Cup League final. Cup, yeah, fine. After, after okay, the game. He, yeah, the, after the game, and then his, Sancho was open what, by himself. Didn't pass like oh, so. He makes bad. He made so many bad decisions last year. They're just some think, examples. Uh, I, I think I'll, we have I'll amnesia have with Bruno. Casemiro to because if we want to count, bring up bad decisions. Bruno could have yelled at Casemiro plenty of times when my DM is launching the ball seventy five yards for no reason. Yeah, do oh, he's doing that this year. Yeah, this, this year his decision making. No, he did it last year too. No, no. He did it last year too. He did it last year. Too. But, but he had his 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 defensive the, the, his defensive. The, 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 the good Pesci outweighed was more the defensively bad. consistent last year. He was yeah, more the, defensively the good consistent. The good outweighed the bad. The good outweighed the bad. But yeah, to a certain degree. And the same thing could be said about Bruno last year. This yeah. season, who's performing? Who's performing this season? Right, I feel sorry for Hoyle as well, man. A lot. Of, by the way, I want to talk about Hoyle as well. The lot of lot of um, for me, um, lot of slander towards Hoyle. I don't like it, man. No service. Bring yeah, can he do Tony. better? Bring in Ivan Tony. I think Isak, man. I like Isak as can well. Can we talk man. about Isak. the two striker Isak. debate? Can we talk about the two side? If you Chris, why did you why did you shake your head, Griggs? Ivan, bro, there's so much, bro. Isaac is right there for the same price, and we're gonna talk about Ivan Tony. Bro, well, Isak, don't do that. No, we, don't do that. Don't do we, that. We, we don't. We don't need two. Like he's a bad player. Guys. We don't need two no, out no, and no, out no, strikers. No, no. Yeah, for me, when you have, when you, when you already have a, a striker, right? That you just spent seventy mil on, so you want to get a second striker. You and the, and you're gonna pay that kind of amount. No, no, we're not doing second striker. He's gonna be the main guy, and then Hoyland's the gonna be guy. the How we, no, What are we spend seventy mil on Hoyland for last summer? Oh, it was a twenty-one project. That that was the project. Seventy mil for a twenty-one striker to then just throw him on the bench the second he's, season. He's gonna play. I that. agree. That's a good yeah. point. Do not do that. I heard you talk about that. That's not how you want to club. Stop it! Stop it! If we don't sign a striker, who who's playing? Who's playing with? Did Hoyland? I say we're not signing a striker? Did I did I say we're not signing a striker? Who, who, did I who ever say that? we're not signing a striker? Who, 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 who are we signing then? Tell me. No, I you buy a versus that, so that amount. If we're gonna go for the the Tony, uh, if we're gonna go for about the 70, 60, 70 mil that Tony's gonna cost, right? Go to Newcastle and go get Isak, who is the better player, and who you could also play with Hoyland, because Isak Isak can also play out wide. Is he better? Yes. Yes. Isak is mention, better. Yeah, m- mention how injury prone he is, though, because uh, we've been talking about. Give me Ali Wat. Is he better? Is he better? Than- yeah, oh, he's he's like, just because of his injury. Look at yeah. Isak play. And if you yeah, want, say I mean, no Isak more. Play, but if you can see, because you can, well, Isak probably could play better left wing better than Marcus Rashford half the time anyway. So he could play Isak and Hoyland together in a front two. And they can interchange too because Hoyland could just out left. Isak can go in front. Bro, you have two dynamic forwards right there. Isak for me is, first of all, I think oh, he's Liverpool a better striker. Five. And I was five. No, but say, say, no, 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 no. How many of them out? Okay. How many of them are out and out? Like they don't have two out and out strikers that no, can only boy, play in the boy, same position. They have. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Big up Omar. Big up Stuffy as well. Yo, you yo, need to go to the stream. My pleasure meeting you, bro. Shout out Chad. Shout out Chad. Out. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. But you know what's mad, yeah? Bandit, Liverpool have yeah, four, five strikers. Yeah, big up Stuffy. Liverpool have five strikers, guys. No, they have Yotto, even Gakpo. 
They have can play strike call. Nunes, Apo, Nunes, that all can play up front. Yeah, but they're versatile. Yes. Yeah, they, they, they can play three. All three of those can play across the front three. Ivan Tony yes. can't play across the front three. He okay. can only play striker. Can Hoyland not play off the right? Yes or no? He not can't. Really. He can't. Not he in can't. the Premier League. Not for me in the he, Premier League. No, nah. bro, he can't. Yeah. Bro, no, I don't think he's so. I don't bro. think uh, in the Premier League. You know, bro, whoever let, the let me put it like this: I Ivan Tony, Ivan Tony is way better than Rasmus Hoyland. He should be our starting striker next season. No questions asked. No questions asked. Did you? Bro, I'd rather get. I, if we're gonna spend that money on a striker, bro, I have to spend seventy million. I'm, 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 I'm not. I go for Isak. Isak's not. Isak's not leaving Newcastle. Why not? Why is he not leaving Newcastle? What, 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 so why? Make, why? Why make him leave Newcastle and come to Man United right now? Well, first, first of, of all, all, we're the, first of all, we're the bigger club. That's the first thing. So that's the first thing. Second of all, oh, Newcastle yes. are in FFP trouble. They have to sell one of the two biggest players. They have to sell. Isak or Bruno yep. Chic do not make Europe, and they're most likely not going to make Europe. So that's the second thing, bro. When we talk yep. about Isak, because Arsenal are heavy linked with Isak, and he's probably their number one striker target. So why are we saying that Isak's bro, not leaving Newcastle? Bro, bro, Arsenal are competing for it. To, uh, Arsenal's the the. the I'm most not saying we're going to be Arsenal to you. I'm not saying we're going to be Arsenal to Isak. I'm, I'm not just, saying we're going to be Arsenal. I'm just, to I'm just telling you that I've been, for me. Okay, listen. I like I I hear your point. You make very good points, Griggs. He's multifaceted. Mm. All of those different things, right? I, I'm not arguing that. One, we know Marcus Rashford is never leaving that left wing. That's not happening, right? Mm. Number two, Ivan Tony as a striker. Is in my opinion, I think he's I think he's top three strikers in the Premier League. That's my that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Okay, I think he's tech, technically obviously Isak is uh, he's lightning quick, you know. But Ivan mm -hmm. Tony, his technical ability, the way he holds up the ball, the way he he's a better he's a way better passer than um, Alexander Isak is mm. way better passer of the football. Right? Did you see, obviously we're, we're a shitty team? But did you see the way he was linking with Wissa? Imagine if it was in Bomo with him. Uh, 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 this past weekend, if it was him and Bomo playing together, they would have scored mm. seven goals. Like, it, like I, I, to be I, honest with you, yeah, I don't think I can also say Isak's a better dribbler. I've been told he's a huh? Isak's a better dribbler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isak's a better dribbler. Yeah, Isak's better dribbler. But if we go to the past, I can also take the dribbler for a better ball carrier. I, I, I think yeah. for me, 20, 20, 20, 28 years old, man. Huh? He's 28 years old. Great. No, but that's that is so. We, we've heard Jim Ratcliffe talk about this. He goes, He's not signing 28 year olds on big money. That's wait, 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 where did he say this? Where did he say this? Totally, so, so he, he, he spoke about the when he came to visit United. Um, you know, when they were doing the visits before they bought the club, they, they were going to visit yeah. Arrington, and yeah, he was critical. He's like, Why are you signing a 30 year old to this big contract? That was Casemiro at the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he, yeah. he he thinks he goes, He goes, It's not a good investment. He goes, You, you know, we need to make good investments. He look, he's looking at it from a business perspective. You don't buy 28 year olds on big money. What is he, even, I, I, even if he's I, got one year left on his contract, I, 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 he's gonna cost, he's gonna cost 70, 80 million dollars. Yeah, not. no, he's not. I, I, what, what I, he, I strongly doubt he, bro, this guy's been trying to get out of, he's, he's openly been twerking. What does he for, cost then? What is, what does he cost? I think he costs right around that 55, 60 range. That's still a lot of money it's for a 20 year old. Max, max. No, 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 bro, no resale. It's not our money. It's not our money. It's not our money, man. No, but it, it's, it's, but it is our money. FFP, bro. Like, it's it's FFP means we need FFP. to be smart. Forget Otherwise, FFP. FFP. Forget FFP. We're, we're going to FFP. Yeah, he's 28. But, he's, not, he's not 32. Okay. He has six very, it? very good years left in him, in my opinion. Six very good years left in, in, in his tank. Yeah. Not to mention, yeah, Hoyland's no, not going to go for a false nine round. Not, I can't. Not to, I look at Don Solanke then. Not to, not to mention, Hoyland is still growing. Like, that's the point I'm trying exactly. to make. Exactly. We have a 21 year old in Hoyland, and then we have a, a locked down, solidified, Premier League proven striker to supplement that. Mm. So we have which other, which other team, which other team in the world has two out and out really expensive strikers? Like, they just play that striker position, don't play out wide or play in another position. There aren't many teams in the world. Even City, I, I heard you talking about this the other day, Said. Mm. Even City, they've got Alvarez. Alvarez is versatile. Haaland might be the other night striker, but Alvarez can play. He, he'll play behind the striker. He'll play left. Mm. He'll play – like, not many teams – Play with two out and out strikers and have spent 160 million dollars on those two players. That, that, that's just not smart. That is that's not financially Wait, viable, man. First of all, first of all, you have to. This is this is where you're. This is where you're messing up, bro. We are. You're talking about the sins of previous organizations. Hoyland, pay for me. I I still stand by this. Hoyland, we should not have paid 70 million pounds uh, pounds for. I did. Yeah, I did say that. Yep, you're right. I'll, I'll say that as as I think he's a talent. I think he's a like you know. I think he's a good young player. Mm -hmm. We should have never paid that amount for him. Right. I'm not I'm not talking about I'm not thinking about the past sins we've made. 
okay? I'm thinking about this upcoming transfer window. We're going to sign some young players. We're going to sign some experience. Like, when what when is it? When have we ever seen a, a, a transfer window where you just sign a bunch of 18, 19, 20, 21-year-olds? It doesn't happen. We're not doing that. We're not doing that anyway. We're not, doing, we're not doing that. No one's saying that. The issue is you cannot have two strikers that are not – that are, neither of them are versatile enough to play across the front three. When that costs seventy million each, that's wait, not wait, good wait. squad well, building. First of all, we don't know yes. who the next. We don't know who the next manager is going to be. How they okay? If you give me a manager that's play, if you give me a manager that's playing a two tracker formation, then I'll hear Ivan Tony. I am perfectly fine with Ivan Tony getting signed if we're going to play a okay. two tracker formation. That's fine by you me. You don't think you play alone? Look at England. Look who's playing for England. No, no, no. no, no, I'm, not, no I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying because of that. I'm saying because then you're playing two striker formation, and I think even Tony and Hoyland will actually complement each other perfectly in a two striker formation. Okay. You have the job new guy, and then you have the runner in behind the Hoyland. That's a perfect complement between the two. So I hear that if we're gonna play like a three-five-two, that's call my me then. Go, go go do that, or like a four-triple-two. So I if if Nagelsmann comes in, then I maybe I hear Ivan Tony. Maybe then I'll actually I'll hear the Ivan Tony shout. But otherwise, in terms of that, yeah. I do not think that when you look at the positions United need to address, we're gonna need probably we need two center backs already. We're probably gonna need three if we're gonna be realistic. We need a DM. We need Bruno. When Bruno needs at most, if Bruno doesn't get sold, he needs an actual capable backup at bet or like someone yes. that can compete with him. Oh, he needs to be replaced. But yes, I hear you. We need another. We need a right winger because Granacci can't be our starting right winger next year, can he? No. We need. A, we need a left winger to compete with Marcus Rashford. Bro, that's like six signings right there. Where are you all? Where else are you gonna find a left back? That's seven. Where this else are you gonna what, have to find the money to also do. spend on a striker? This is what I would do. Okay, I would bring Jaden Sancho back. Okay, oh, that that solves our right wing issue. I would sign. I would sign. I would sign a winger. Let's I would, go. I would, let's go. I would, I would play. <laughs> for, I would sign a winger, another winger, another striker. Right. I would sign a DM and a center back. That's five shot. That's five signs right there. What are you bringing Sancho back for? To do what? What do you mean to to play? That's what I'm bringing him back for. Oh, you Cap, you you're taking the piss. I'm not. Yes. I'm deadly serious. I'm deadly serious. What bro, we, he's done, bro. Oh, we, we, the, we're bro, over. The ball, that, the ball no, rolls that he did for Dortmund no. to win a corner moved him. That's calm, bro. That's calm. The little ball roll that he did. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Grease, did you actually watch <laughs> the game? Why are you mad hating? Yeah, I did watch the game. Why are you mad hating? I did watch the game. Why did he play? I did watch the game. He, 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 he had a decent game. He had a good game. He had a good game. He looks good on TikTok. That's about it, bro. Oh, he looks nah, good on man, you bad. Come on, man. Bro, Grizz, we have seen a sample. Well, we have seen a good enough Griggs, sample size. Griggs, we've had him for two years. I don't need new United. evidence. Oh, Griggs, don't insult my intelligence and act like I'm not watching football outside of the. Oh, I don't care. Bro. I don't. You can interpret oh, it whichever way you want, bro. Don't I don't do care. That. Don't do that. I don't care. Yo, you don't interpret it whichever way you want. When I watch Jane Essential, and I know what my eyes tell me, my eyes tell me that he's not a Manchester United winger. That's what my eyes tell me. Bro, and Rashford is. And Rashford is. But Marcus Rashford is okay. He's Marcus Rashford has done more for my football club when I watched him play for Man United. He, he gets, Central guess what, Griggs? Guess what, Griggs? He gets chance after chance after chance after chance. He'll stink out the place for two months. He'll score some goals. He'll stink out the place for two months. He'll score some more goals, bro. What are we talking about here? Sancho just stunk the place out. He never scored any goal. He just stunk it out that whole time. There was no like up or down with Sancho. Nah, with nah, Rashford, there might be some up. Bro, go get me Rodrigo, bro. Go get me Rodrigo. There you go. That's a player you want. You want a yeah, winger? There you go. As well. go I mean, yeah, yeah, well, listen, That's what you want to get me. Don't bring me back. Us. But also, also for Jaden Sancho, regardless if he's good enough for Man United, why are you gonna take him out of a place where he finally looks happy again, and you're gonna bring him back to a place that he just, that just doesn't work out, bro? Let's just. The Bundesliga is his level. The Bundesliga is it. Like What's maybe the, you know what it is. Maybe even the the environment. No, 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 no. I'm not. Why? I'm stopping you right there. That is so insulting to the Bundesliga, bro. Borussia Dortmund have been better than us for the last decade. If we play 10 games against Borussia Dortmund right now, they beat us in seven of them. So do not do that. Do not do that, bro. That's Eric Ten Hag tax. 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 It's Louis Van Gaal tax. It's Jose Mourinho tax. It's David Moyes tax. It's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer tax. They would have wiped us with any of the managers we've had over the last ten years. They would have wiped us. Okay, bro. They would have wiped us. They would have wiped us. Come, 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 come. Have they have they not been better than us over the last ten years? No, but the point is, the point is, the quality of the defending in the Bundesliga is not the same as the Premier League. Beaten them, by the way. If we played Dortmund last year, we would have beaten them, by the way. I promise you that. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Now now you want now Nobody, now we got now we got trying to get rid of you're using that as a defense tactic. Please spare no, I'm, me. I'm, I, the thing is, I'm, I'm happy for Sancho. I had bro. three years of evidence to watch him play for Manchester United, and he bro. was never good enough. Bro, bro, bro. That's true, I look at look at the venom. Look at the venom of Greg. This is it's so a passionate story. Every time, bro, because every time we lose a game, wait, hold on, hold on, you're right, you're right. I have Usman, I have Usman bringing up photos of Jadon Sancho doing a little peace sign against Bayern Munich. Good for him, bro. Guess what? He wasn't good enough. 
Di Maria wasn't good enough. Lukaku wasn't no, no, good no. enough. No, no, no. Don't don't disrespect Angel Di Maria. Do not disrespect Angel Di Maria. Don't Adel disrespect Di Maria. Don't disrespect Maria. Don't Maria. He was a flopper at United. He was the flopper at United, though. Bro, I, you want me to but keep going, what? buddy? You want me to keep it's, going? You want me to keep going? I have to think you said, because you disrespected Di Maria right away, because Di Maria actually performed for the football club. He gave me at least six months of high-level football for the club. And even when mm. I cut it four months, that, that beginning of the stretch before his house got robbed, Di Maria played at, at a great level. He was dropped, he was giving me at least two goals mm. contributions per game. He was giving me all around excellence. Because guess what? Di Maria is a hundred times the player that Jada Sancho is. Uh -huh. Di Maria is an all-timer of football. It, 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 so what's, what's, what 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 do you I've what, seen because people always say that we feel Jaden Sancho. I have seen great talents at this football club field, and Jaden Sancho is not one of them. Paul Pogba, we filled him. Anthony Martial, we filled them. Jaden Sancho, we did not fail. He he has a whole he has a whole evidence. What's it called? He has blame to take as himself, and you guys never hold him accountable. Mm -hmm. Not you, Tammy, but his fan base. I'll, I'll, most I'll of them do. I said Listen. not you, but I'm okay. speaking to the central fan base in general. Most okay, of them okay. do not hold him accountable for what he's done at Man United. They always they only blame the club. Tell him to hold this accountable because guess what? You you can say that he's talented enough. But he has not performed to the level that we Griggs. signed him to do. Griggs. That's Griggs. my issue with Jan and Sancho. Oh, Griggs. I, Griggs, Griggs, I have, I have, nah. as, as you know, I have, I have held him accountable for. His, Griggs, I, I have held him accountable for his sins, right? My <laughs> issue is the the people that and I think it's I'm gonna I'm gonna include you in this bucket. Go the ahead. people, mm. the, his, his style of football is not appealing to Manchester United mm. fans, and that's okay. But let's not sit here and act like he's a bad player, bro. He, bro. Nice, nah, no. He, he retains the ball well. He he, keep, mm. he keeps he doesn't give the ball he doesn't give the ball away cheaply. He makes the right decision time and time and time again. I just I'm I'm just tired of seeing Marcus Rashford run into blind alleys. I'm tired of seeing Bruno Fernandez give the ball away when there's nothing on. I'm tired of Ant. Well, I'm not going to bring up Ant. He hasn't played that much this season. But I'm tired of low IQ football players in my team. You want to know I want Jaden Sancho on my team because he's a high IQ football player. That's why I want him in my team. OK, now we can talk about the mm -hmm. semantic. We can talk about the semantics of him. He probably does need to go. OK, but if you gave me a choice, if we have a new manager who gives him a new lease of life, I will take that new lease of life with that new manager and Jaden Sancho. Absolutely. And not spend 75 mm -hmm. million on a new right winger or new winger, whatever you want to call him. Listen, what do you think is better? Alicia Listen, or who? Alicia or Sancho. I mean. I'm, I'm not. I, that's a tough one. I will say that Olise Olise has been has had a better the last two years. He's been better. Okay, so that mm -hmm. but the height the height of what we've seen of Jaden Sancho is not comparable. Okay, so that's 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 where it's like. Yeah, bro. That's my thing. People have to get bro. bro no, Bruce Dortmund Sancho was good. I'm not gonna lie. He was a great player. He was an amazing player, and he deserved. And the fee that we paid for him, he deserves to get go for that much, right? He deserves to go for 70 mil. I'm not gonna argue that. But the matter of the fact is. In the new age of the Premier League, there's certain wingers that fit the league, and there's certain wingers that do not fit the league. And Jaden Sancho, it's not it's not even his fault, bro. It's just the way that he plays. It just doesn't fit this league in the way that the league is going into, in my opinion. Bro, he, yo, um, yo, even if he goes to the Bundesliga, right, and he plays for a Bayern Munich, that's no disrespect to Bayern Munich. Or even Borussia Dortmund. Like you said, Borussia Dortmund are a great club. He can go to Serie A and play for Juventus. That's a big club. And he can still have a great career. But for me, in the Premier League, no matter the club, I genuinely do not think he can have a successful career and live up to his full I have a question for you. Any of the clubs here. I have a question for you. If Roberto, if Roberto does, if they said we're hiring Roberto Deserbi tomorrow, right? What do you think he'd do with Jaden Sancho? With I look at Deserbi's. I look at Deserbi's winger. I look at Adingra. I look at Matoma, and they're both better ball carriers than Jaden Sancho. And they're both more. They're they're more direct than Jaden Sancho. You have two direct wingers right there, bro. Hmm. And out, out, out of it's position, he's okay. he's intensity out of position. Deserve still wants great intensity out of position, and that's not that's not Sancho. Sancho is a bit of a he's a luxury player, even even at his best, you know. Like so, I think he'd hmm. struggle. Average KJ says well, well, Sancho is in prem well, level. Well, he doesn't well, have well, the well, first well, and well, I just I just don't I don't like I don't like the hate that I'm seeing on Jadon Sancho's hmm. name over the last like, like, like for me it's like. I, I I criticized him when I feel like he needed to be criticized. The whole the tweet thing that was wrong. I still don't think I don't I still don't think what Eric mm. Tenhock said was a big deal. We can I'm not, I'm not I don't want to debate that right now. The point I'm trying to make is the way that people are talking about this guy. Like if he doesn't leave our club, he's not going to have a great career. Bro, you're tripping. You are tripping. Mm. You are high on on all this stuff. I'm so, I'm I'm sober right now, bro. <laughs> you are high on all kinds of things I used to smoke, bro. No way. No way. 
Like, like I'm just I'm just telling you right now, this is what happens. People, we, people, you know what's crazy? We 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 sell players and call them Deadwood, and then they go and win, they go and win Serie A titles, they go and win uh Scudettos, mm. they go and, they go and win these big trophies. They, we were calling them Deadwood. Are you I mean, talking about Damian? I'm talking about Damian. Young, I'm talking about Lukaku. Who else am I? Who else, who else am I missing? That uh, I yeah, yo, because Lukaku came back to the Premier League and tore it up, bro. Uh, I don't regret anybody we sold. Bro. Did you oh, regret? Do you regret anybody we sold? We thought we should have kept them. You're missing. You're missing the mm. point. The they kind of fell off after all the Di Maria did well. Bro, who do you, know you think, who do you think we saw that we should have we made a massive mistake? These guys that we saw, right? Lukaku has proven time and time again that in this current iteration of Lukaku's career, he fits Syria more than the Premier League. So in that instance, he is dead wood to us because he Daily doesn't blend. fit the requirements Daily to be at blend. United. Yeah. Blend. You think we should have kept it blind? Absolutely. I think CR7. Absolutely. CR7. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. of course, CR7. Oh, what's CR7? Come on, last year's CR7. Yo, he's scoring goals. So you doing that the night? We should have definitely, we should absolutely take daily bread. Bro, CR seven, bro, man, scoring goals for fun, man. Listen, whether he's in the Saudi league or not, you gotta respect him, man. Like fair play, honestly, man. Man, he loves football, bro. Fun, man. I mean, he's a great, he's 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 all time, all time, all time. We look at all the all the other players that went to Saudi Arabia. None of them are pulling up trees, man. They're half of them are complaining. I got United fans telling me we shouldn't have sold Alex Tears. Like, let's be serious with the dead. No, I mean, that was terrible. He was. I told you that he was terrible. This is that Tyee was saying he was better than Luke Shaw. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we can't be saying that stuff like that. Hey. It's terrible. It's terrible. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? You should tell us. Who said that? You said that. I got gassed by comps, but I didn't ever say he was better than Luke Shaw. I never Don't said worry, that. I got, yo, that first game against PSG, I thought we signed the Brazilian Beckham, and we didn't end up happening. Bro, I, I got you too. I got you He can cross the ball, man. He's just. Feet. He's just lacking. Mm. He lacks the physicality. That's the problem. A, you need the physicality, man. Big up um, your average KJ. Talent. Sancho isn't Premier League level. He doesn't have the outburst. And the, in the Bundesliga, there's so much space. Listen, this idea that Bundesliga is so much space, like it's not as what people say, but as uh, it's still we, a difficult league. But every, the day, every, every Premier League team, like literally Luton plays with the high line. Like what? What? Why are we acting as if? Why are we acting as if the Premier League is just this? Is this is is uh you know uh Italian league or you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm, like these 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 leagues where it's it's high you know the strut you know the the deep lines think, and you know I think people you know, people need to switch the term when they say Premier level because I'm I gonna I'm agree with Tommy here bro let's be real because we're gonna talk Premier League level we just watched the game between the two best teams in the league and it was the worst game of football we ever watched so instead bro, of Premier yeah. level let's say Prem type of player let's just say that Prem type of player that's what it's Sancho not a Prem type of player in the new age of the Premier League. Because I just I don't agree with that. I just think it's mm -hmm. it, it depends on it just depends on the manager. It really just depends on the man, bro. If, bro which if, team do you think see do you see that really that's a good team that plays with slow wingers, bro? Um, bro. I mean, Jack Grealish when he plays for Man City, he's not he's not a pacey winger, right? Doc, Doc who doesn't start. Yeah, but who's a better who's a better ball carrier though, Grealish or Sancho? I mean, Grealish is a, a much much better player. I'm not arguing that, I'm bro. Not, I'm not, Sancho's a good ball carrier, man. Not Grealish, no, but Grealish has but Grealish has, but Grealish has strength though. Grealish can but win you, you know, a foul. You know, when you ball I'm gonna say Griggs. You, I think Jack Grealish is one. Of I know how. I know how you. I know how yeah, you. Bro. But, bro. but even Jack Grealish, for example, suits the Premier League more because he's more. He's strong. He's not quick, but he's strong. But you, you know, if you take down Jack Grealish, it's automatically a foul. Otherwise, mm. you're not getting the ball off him. That's why he's one of the best foul baiters in the league. It's that kind mm. of player that you. Sancho is not that because he's not great at winning fouls because he's not strong enough, so he gets dispossessed easier. When, like when you look, when he doubles stuff like that, but you know what's the man? Look at Garnacho. Look at Garnacho. Now he's, he's he's becoming effective in in terms of on the ball. He's not that great, but off the ball, he can have the movement. And you know, what I mean? so we got problems either way. You know what I mean? Like we want some of Sancho's qualities in, um, what's this called? Um, my man. So yeah. it's a, it's, a, it's a mixture, man. It's a mixture. It really, really is, man. So long story. Long story short, day, bring in Ivan Tony, man. I'm not trying to hear nothing else, bro. Just bring in Ivan Tony, bro. I'm not trying to hear anything. Man. Yeah. If we sign him, if we sign him, meetings, what it is at the end of the day? Like, I'm not gonna like go be like, I'm not gonna oh, like gonna, the signing. He's, gonna, the he's, gonna, he's gonna make our front line. He's gonna make Marcus Rashford so much better. You're gonna be like, damn. Okay, we, we, Temmy's right. I mean, like, that is sure. I do agree with that. But like, yeah, you know, I, I still, I still hold belief. I still hold belief that Rashford won't be at the club come the start of next season. I, I like, I feel. I hope so. I'm, I'm like, if you, if I had to put a bet on it, my bet would be that Rashford won't be here. He won't Stop. be here. He will be. At I'm telling game. you. I'm. I reckon that's why he came out with the interview with um the players' tribune. No, it's not. No, it's not. I, I reckon. I reckon you know, that's I why because he came out. I, I reckon. 
The only way Rashford won't be here next year is if the new manager comes in and says, you're not part of my plans. Then he'll right. leave. No, but I think that decision that decision is going to be made regardless of the new manager. I think they're going to make the decision around, they're going to talk to people, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who does not like Rashford. They're going to talk to Gareth Southgate because... Sadell so, so Braceford, so so Braceford, he was talking to Gareth Southgate. They had a dinner together recently. He, they're going to talk to enough people and they're going to realize this is not yeah, a person that you want at your club every day. When did Ollie say didn't Sorry? like When did Ollie say No, didn't everything you said. No, so if you listen to the um, the overlap interview he did, he didn't say it directly, but he said it indirectly. And if you listen to the interview with um, Andy Minton, he didn't say it directly to Andy Minton. But if you read the in between the lines, he's not a fan of he's not a fan of Rashford. What are you talking about, Rashford? Bro, you're reaching here, bro. You're, you're reaching here. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm not. I'm not. A hundred percent. I'm not reaching. I promise every, you. So even every, even so, do you guys do you guys remember when he when um, Oli said, "Hey, it's time. You're getting older now. It's time to concentrate on your football." And then a couple of days later, he had to go, come into a press conference and apologize for, for that. Do you remember he had to apologize because he told Rashford to concentrate oh. on his football? This is when he was doing the campaigns and stuff. So he, I, he had to come to, into a press conference. He goes, oh, and he blamed it on the media. He's like, oh, you guys, you guys turn everything into something bigger than it should. And Rashford was there. And he's like, yeah, I'm really proud of him from doing for that doing a lot of the charity work. Right so now. he from that, like he does not like, I promise you he doesn't like him. So I, I, I would put money on it that if we can get a buy, that's, that's the yo, by way, yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie, when you say something like that, you gotta say allegedly. You gotta say allegedly, allegedly this kind bro. of stuff. This is, this is like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, of course, this is my opinion. This is all my opinion. <laughs> but I'm just it's saying, it's not, I, Marcus, yeah. bro. Last, last Ollie before wrap up. Oligar Solskjaer loves Marcus Rashford. Like, like I think he is the biggest. You, well, you have to say allegedly, bro. You have to say allegedly for I'm, I'm just telling. Like, he's actually uh, saying. Like, I've heard. No, Ollie I'm kidding. Say, I'm kidding. I've heard Ali say that. We've never heard Ali say he does not like Marcus Rashford. Like he's actually said. I no, no one's gonna come out and say I don't like Rashford. That's not how it works. He's, oh, it'd be weird. It, it'd be weird if he comes out and just says that. He's gonna say it indirectly, like little messages, little bro. points he. Jose Mourinho said he didn't like Lou Shaw. I mean, he called him. I fan. personally think, bro, I think when you look at the players that Ole liked, I think Ole loved Anthony Martial. I think Ole loved Marcus Rashford. Yeah, I think yeah, he yeah. loved Bruno Fernandez. I think he loved Paul like, Pogba. I think those Green four Green. players, he loved Mason. I think those five he loved because he, bro, those are the so guys. Did that you he listen had, to the overlap? Did you listen to the overlap? Watch, he talked to he, he, no, he, he purposely said, said, he goes, so what he so said, he there said there people that didn't want to become captain. And that's fine because certain, you know, I tell me, Certain people just mm. are not captain material, yes. and I think Marcus Rashford knows that he's not captain he's not material. Captain That's material. Why he doesn't no, but want he, that. you know what else? You know what else he talked about? He goes, he talked about who was willing to front up to the media before games, and he named names. And then by omission, he clearly stated these are the players that were not ready to be Manchester United players. He goes, he talked about all the players, and you know who he didn't mention? He didn't mention Pogba. He didn't mention Rashford. He didn't mention Martial. So clearly, why would he do that? But by, by not including him in there, clearly he was going to create like noise and people were going to make conclusions you, around Pogba and Rashford were the two clickbait names for United right whatever whatever the, the story was all about mm -hmm. them so if you put those guys in front of the media everything they say is going to get micro con con Facts. contextualized that's what it is yep. that's why Pogba every, every time Pogba spoke about my United bro it was all over the sun it was all over the Daily Mail it was all over the newspaper mm -hmm. Marcus Rashford it's the same thing certain guys that's why a lot of the times a lot of the big players don't do the press match conference the post match and the pre-match presses no more because whatever they say is going to get used in and around. It's not like the old days when Ronaldo used to do the pre-match press all that kind of stuff. That's why you have Alexis Scott McTominay doing the pre-match pressers. Uh, Fred used to do them. Donny Van de Beek one time did them. You just have a guy next to you that no one cares about what they say. If you right. put Marcus Rashford there, anything mm. he says before the game is going to get used in the media. Anything Paul Pogba says is going to get used in the right. media. Those right. kind of guys you don't mm -hmm. put in front of the microphone unless maybe... Right. But Rashford was, it was all positive about it's, Rashford at that time. It's only turned mm -hmm. recently, but yeah... We can wrap up. Listen, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here, uh, guys. We're not even hit five hundred likes. We're on four hundred forty-eight likes, nah, guys. We're gonna, people. yeah, man. What a show, man? And we've not even got five hundred likes. We had a thousand people here at one point. So please, guys, hit the like button for those that are not just coming now. Hit the like button. Fifty more likes, guys. Fifty more likes. Big up to Griggs uh, for coming on as usual, man. Yes, sir, bro. Appreciate it as always. Follow me on Twitter at Michael underscore Greg 26. Greg Talks YouTube. Obviously, match reaction on Thursday for the El Marico, as they're calling it these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure I'll send people to you. Yeah, that's I'll send be people it. to and you there. We, we, have, we have something in the works with a couple panels with uh, Omar that's coming out soon as well, CK. We got something okay. in the works for that. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, man. Big up to you, man. Tell me what you got coming up, man. 
Yeah, man, it's been a uh, it's been uh, quiet on the content front from your boy, which is why I haven't been on sites channel for a minute. But uh, guys, make sure to follow me on TikTok. I'm taking a break from YouTube. I'm just gonna be focusing on TikTok. So um, on. make sure to follow your boy there. I'm trying to get to was it twelve k, thirteen k? I don't know. One one of those two. Um, so make sure to show some love to your boy. Um, Wavy Temi underscore. You already know what it is. Yeah, thanks very much. Big up to um, Ange. Thanks for coming on. No, all good, bro. Good to be on. Good chat. Yeah, man. Make sure you follow him. You get YouTube channel running, man, Ange, man. You don't have to sort something out. No, man. you're right. There's there's not enough fan channels, so yeah, I'll, I should start one. Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, uh, Aussie. Aussie. Over there. Yeah, man. So yeah, my people. Uh, we're going to redirect to Griggs, man. What should we say to Griggs? To, um, what, should, what should we put on his chat? Staffy, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. What should, what should we uh, spam in this chat? What should we Lucky say? Ten Hag, Lucky Ten Hag in to piss him off. Yeah, spam yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten Hag in. Oh, yeah, spam Ten, ten Hag in. That even though you don't think that. Either Ten the... Hag in or Jer Ten Hag in or Jersey hype. That puts him off too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jer Jersey hype. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Jersey hype. Jersey, Jersey hype. hype, people. When you go into Staffy's chat. Just write Jersey hype. He'll yeah, know, he'll know who so sent them. He'll know who go, sent them. Yeah, yeah, he'll know who sent them. So when you go in there, Jersey hype, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Watch along. I'm not sure, but the man them talk. Hey, hey tomorrow. Make sure you're there, man. People, we're out. Take care. Bye.